<clears throat> what is this? The Metamorph skin. How do I have one token? Why do I only have one token, by the way? All right, what is this? What is the Metamorph skin? 2400. Oh, it's a Transformer. Huh. What do you know? What's up, K-Rod? Colin, what's going on, my friend? I'm just checking out this, this Metamorph Transformer. I guess they can't really call it Transformer. It's almost kind of cool. Speed Demon, what's going on? Creating reality, what's happening? <laughs> You've had a rough day? Stay right here, my friend. I, it's, I've had an incredibly busy couple of days, and I'll tell you guys why here in just a second. Um, kind of exciting stuff. And there's going to be a lot more coming out, but I'm, I'm sorry you're having a rough day, my friend. You, you hang right here. Uh, the meeting went really, really well. Um, we're going to move forward. I'll tell you guys about it here in just a second. We'll let a couple more of our OGs get in. Okay, I'm not sure. It's like, it's not that cool. And what's that thing sticking out of the bed? I guess it's an antenna for something. Huh. All right. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was more cool than that. Okay, hold on a second here. Did they take out, um, Das House? They didn't take it out, did they? Oh my goodness, they have shipment. So they took out Das House and they put in Ship House. All right, does that mean they're going to mix? Oh, they're going to switch the maps. I hate that. I just want to play the one mode. That's all right. That's all right. What's up, Sophie? What's happening? All right, we'll give it a couple more minutes and I'll tell you guys what's going on. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Speed Demon, I opened up my, my Instagram and I saw that you liked like <laughs> 25 things. I appreciate it, my friend. What's up, suited double OZ? Who put up his first YouTube video? What's up, JD? All right, so let me kind of give you a heads up. You got a new car? Congrats, Sophie. That's awesome. So let's see. If you're in Germany, did you get a Volkswagen? I'm guessing that Volkswagen has got to be like the number one selling brand in Germany, right? Uh, that's because I started Speed Demon social accounts, had to follow like stuff. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Hey Zeus, what's going on? All right. Let me, let me tell you what's happening. Um, I'm actually really excited about this. I wasn't, I meant to get on stream yesterday. Um, how do you have a three month sub? You got another gifted sub, I guess. Um, I know, I know. I'm going to tell you why I've been busy about what's coming up. Uh, no, I couldn't afford another Volkswagen. It's a uh, Skoda. It's basically uh, the same but cheaper. That's awesome. That's awesome. What's up, Ryan? Yeah, Volkswagens are expensive, man. Um, yeah, BMW's got to be big there, too. Mercedes got to be, you know, right? But all expensive cars. All right, let me tell you what's going on, guys. Okay. So I've had um, three conversations with the founders, the two founders of this, this new platform called Oversubscribe, right? And some of you have looked at it, oversubscribe.co. Uh, so let me tell you what's happening. What these guys do is they essentially act as, I, don't, I, I have to be careful of the right words I use. Let me, let me tell you what, the, what happens. I'm going to, I'm going to, Tamson, how are you? I'm going to do a documentary on gaming's impact on mental health and other things. I'm going to call the documentary Game Strong, Live Stronger. Okay? And here's how I'm going to do the documentary. And then I'll tell you what's in it for you. I'm going to spend, if we can pull this off, I'm going to spend the entire summer, June, July, and August. So I'll start June 1st and August 31st. And I'm going to travel to each of the 48 continental U.S. states and film content. 
I'm going to go live. I'm going to interview gamers, mental health care professionals. I may even do, not may, I will actually do some street taco reviews all across the country. But I'm going to travel to every state and film content and create this documentary and blow up our following over the course of you know those three months and really grow this. Now, here's what's in it for you. Here's what's in it for you. This platform that I have, uh, I have, I'm aligning with, that I've signed up with, allows you as a follower, a fan, a community member to invest in the project. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that is unlike a Patreon or a crowdsourcing app where you can give money and maybe you get a t-shirt or you get a, you know, first access to something. What I what they allow you to do is you actually invest. So let me give you an example. Investment can start as low as $50 and go up to whatever, 10% of what your income is. Is kind of there's there's SEC rules and different things. So I'm going to set the terms when I, with them and I'll tell you what's going to kind of happen next. So to do this documentary, we're going to set a budget, right? And let's say the budget is $40,000. You can invest whatever is in your budget to, you know, allow you to do that. Unlike just a Patreon or, you know, donating money um, to, um, like through a crowdsourcing. And we set the terms, like maybe it'll be 10% return for the course of three years. And what that means is everything around the Street Taco Eater brand not just the documentary. Everything I do for content creation and generating revenues, you then get a portion of that based on the amount of money that you invested. So, you know, there's no guarantee, obviously, but what you can do is say, hey, I think this, I think this documentary is an incredible idea. I think that by doing this traveling and doing the street taco eater is going to really blow up his following. And so ad revenues, partnerships, brand deals, all of that kind of stuff, all is going to pay dividends to you guys. They set up, not to get into all the weeds of this, but people were asking questions about it. They set up an LLC and they monitor everything. So I have to run all of the street taco eater brand revenues from my content creation through the LLC, and and so that's how they monitor it, and as well as some other things, you know, according to SEC guidelines. And then once a year, they pay you a return on whatever your investment is based on what you know we do. It's obviously we don't know. There's no guarantee, but it's all very well monitored. The, the two founders are one of them is from, uh, you know, went to school at MIT and. Um, worked in Silicon Valley. The other has worked on White Wall Street and investment banking and all of that. Really great guys. What I've seen them so far in three phone calls, three Zoom calls. So what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next is we're going to do an interest poll. And so tomorrow, sometime probably by Friday or Saturday, I'll put out a poll. Now, this will be the foundation what is the interest of the community? In other words, would you be interested in, in investing in this, you know, $50? They said the average is somewhere between $100 and $300, what people do. Um, what would you be, you know, interested in doing? And then based on that, we can say, okay, well, we think we can fundraise this amount. Now, if we don't reach the minimum amounts, the money all goes back to you guys uh, if we don't hit it. So, um, this is something I, I did several years ago when the, the pandemic was still going on. I did the great eSports street tour. So I have a lot of experience in traveling around, doing content, interviewing people. But I've been thinking about wanting to do something like this ever since then. So as I kind of described that, for those of you that are still here listening, as I kind of described that, how does that appeal to you. And the other thing, and here's the other thing. So Dexter says, let me know when you come to Minnesota. There's a ton of information you guys are going to get in the next week or two weeks. But one of the things I thought would be fun to do is if 
I'll, I'll post the entire road trip calendar, right? I'll be in Louisiana this time. I'll be in Florida. I'll be in Mississippi, Kentucky. I'll be in Maine. I'll be in you know Wyoming. And you guys can pick what city, and then we'll do some in-person, you know, uh, whatever. We'll meet and greets. We'll have tacos. We'll, we'll film content together. We'll do some fun stuff. Um, so how does that sound? Sophie's in. Now, Sophie, if this goes well in the U.S. this year, guess what I'm doing next year? I'm going, to, I'm going overseas. I'm going to Europe. So um, we'll, do a, we'll do a European um, version, like a, you know, a series two of the, uh, the documentary. I'm eating tacos next year. I eat tacos every week. Uh, got, I, haven't, I haven't played. I've been so busy with this other stuff. I haven't played any Helldivers. You're in South Florida? Awesome. You want to go to Amsterdam? <laughs> so the bottom line is going to be, is the interest high enough that we could actually start this? So in the next few days, I'm going to have this interest poll out. And what I'll need from you guys is to fill it out. And, and, you know, and, and then share it with everyone you know. Is this, you know, there's going, to, there's going to be all the information's going to be there. Everything's going to be there for people to see. I'm just giving you the 30,000 foot view because a lot of you, you guys are my OGs. So let me know. And I don't want anyone to feel badly if they don't have the finances to be able to invest. Trust me, I don't want anyone to feel badly about that. Uh, I'll, I'll visit everyone that we can fit in to visit. Um, the poll will be everywhere. I'll do a video on it. I'll post it on a link on all my socials. It'll be on streettacoeater.com or a link to it. Um, if you want to know more about just what the platform is, you can check it out at oversubscribe.co. Oversubscribe.co. Thank you for the heart, me. I appreciate that, Richie. Um, so does it sound interesting, though? Or am I like just like, I know you don't have all the information, but imagine doing content and me taking you on the journey of doing this documentary over the course of the whole summer. 48 states in 90 days, about 90 days. Um, having a chance to meet you guys in different states, if we can work that out, if it's not too far out of the way for people. Filming content, explaining the benefits of, of gaming and mental health, as well as a lot of other things. Talking with professionals, gamers. All, I mean, does the documentary, outside of all the live streams and all the other content the whole way, does that sound, is it interesting? Okay, Ben says he thinks it's an awesome idea. Come to Seattle. Well, we'll definitely be in Washington. Here's the thing. We will, I will go in whatever, in whatever state we're in. I'll go where, and we'll put up, there'll be a lot of stuff. On the website, you'll be able to say, we'll have a vote. Here are three cities, right? I mean, Vegas is, is kind of, Nevada is kind of easy because you're either north, you know, Reno, Carson City, or you're south in, in Vegas. But, you know, do we want to go to Seattle or another city where there's more of our, our community? Um, those kinds of things. That'll all be up. It'll all be up. Every, the plan is, if we can pull this off, all 48 contiguous states in the U.S. I mean, Alaska is obviously different. Hawaii is different. Now, if it goes well enough and we raise the funds and we can, you know, continue to grow uh, all of the funding as we're doing it, then maybe we'll go to Hawaii and Alaska and do all 50 states. Uh, it's very interesting, but I need all of the information. We'll find. Yeah, of course, you guys don't have any of the information. I'm just giving you the, the complete overview. There are 48 states that are connected on the mainland of the United States. So Alaska is, 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 on, is like kind of attached to Canada, and Hawaii is an island. And then you're talking about like Puerto Rico is um, kind of gets considered a state, I guess, but it's not really, not officially. Um, so yeah, don't make a decision right now, I, because you're going to have a ton of information to look at. I'm just wondering if it sounds appealing. 
That's what I'm really asking. Uh, weirdly odd, I came in once you mentioned Hawaii. Hawaii viewers here. What's up, your noble? Yeah, I'm just saying on this road trip. So I would leave. The road trip would start. So the documentary filming, live live content, all of that would start on June 1st. And then it would end. I'd be back in, in Fort Worth, Texas on um, August 31st. But the thing that's really, the thing that's really appealing to me about this is that you guys have a financial return opportunity. And so more than just subbing and gifting to the foundation, all those things are wonderful. And thank you for doing that. This is a case where you could say, hey, I'll invest 50 bucks or a couple hundred bucks or whatever, you know, on the, on the opportunity that, you know, over the course of three years, Street Taco Eater's um, going to continue to grow, continue to have you know, uh, a lot of revenue generated because this is what's interesting. I thought this was interesting. It's not you investing in the, just the documentary. It's you investing in the street taco eater brand and me that, cause every, everything, the agreement with oversubscribe is that everything from content creation that generates revenue. So if I have a brand deal and they pay me, if, uh, you know, ad, uh, ad sense and ad revenues from, from, the platforms, um, subscriptions, gifts, donations, any money that comes into the Street Taco Weeder brand and my content creation goes in through that LLC and you get a you get a percentage of that, of everything. So it behooves me to grow the brand significantly as well as you to get as much, you know, as many people out there checking it out and helping grow it because you have a financial investment return as well. All right, that's it. If you guys have any more questions, I'll talk about it as much as you guys want to talk about it. But so tomorrow I'm going to submit the explanation video, get the, the poll information set up. I have another call with the founders on uh, Friday. I also have a podcast I'm doing uh, on Friday. And I have to make sure I don't have a conflict of time. Uh, Bubba Gerhart, is it Bubba Gerhart? No, wait, Bubba. He does. I'll be playing and talking about a bunch of stuff. Um, matter of fact, I need to see. Uh, it's Bubba Gator. Gattert. Yeah. So the twenty second, and I'm trying to see. I don't remember what time it is. Anyway, I'll let you know about that. I'll let you know about that. So. What I'll need from you once we get the poll ready is just your ability to, to answer it, look at it, and, and share it with everyone you know. Because if we don't have the interest, then we're not even going to start. If we don't know that we can get to at least the minimum amount we need to pull this off, then we won't even do it. Okay, I'll, tomorrow, let me see. My wife's going out of town to her uncle's funeral tomorrow morning. Um, I've got to get, to, I'll, I'll try to get on earlier tomorrow because I've got to get the video done. I've got to get all the uh, branding materials over to these guys so they can get the page set up. But um, Saturday I can be on really early for sure. Okay, there we go. Let's see. I don't, ah, shipment and ship owls. But how do we take a chopper to shipment? I think it's both interesting and a good idea, the amount of exposure traveling through the states. Yeah, I, guys, I am, I am so, when I did it for the Grady Sports Street Tour, I was actually going to be expanding it, going to a lot more places, but the restrictions kind of started buckling down again, and it was getting harder and harder, so I had to pause it. So this is really just coming back. Uh, part of the crew again, thank you for coming live street. Absolutely. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. Oh, it's, it's snowy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're warming up here, chat. We're warming up. Okay, where is everyone? Oh my goodness. I really hate shipment. Can I just tell you? 
I, I, I really hate ship it. I, like, why am I warming up on this terrible map? Oh my heck. It's on, oh my goodness, it's on me. Warm up, warm up, everybody on shipment. I hate shipment. What? Wait, I full on hit that guy. I, I, I hate shipment so much. I literally, I can't stand this map. But I guess now. Oh wait, was I? That was me. God, I hate this map so much. I I hate this map so much. Does anyone else hate this map? I hate this so much. I mean, I, I it will help me warm up, that's for sure. I don't think anyone even uses shoddies. Golly. What's up, World Easy? Come on, teammates. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really disappointed that they... That they, um, that they put these together. All right, dude, get out of the way. Oh, come on, dude. Don't just hang out in there. I, I want to play Das House. <laughs> I, I hate this map. I, I like I'm, I'm tempted to leave. Maybe maybe it's time just to play twenty four play uh, layover. You love it, but you thrive in chaos. <laughs> uh, uh, I do hate shipment, but they put they put shipment and uh, das aus together. I don't. It's so dumb. Why we don't? No one wants that. Let's see if we can get a. If not, I'm just gonna play some layover. Play some layover. So, chat, are you guys up for helping me get the word out on this uh, interest poll? I know the answer to that. How about just pubs with all those uh, maps? I miss them. Yeah, I, after, if I don't get if I don't get uh, the rooftop, then I'm just going to go play some uh, layover 24 seven. Yeah, nobody wants that, which is why COD did it. Activision said, "Well, now Microsoft." No, no, let's don't give them what they want. Let's give them what they don't want. <laughs> let's give them everything they don't want. All right, well, at least we got the house because we're going to take the chopper. What's up, Yeska?
Woo! That was a lot of action right out of the gate. Oh, look out, Luigi! Oh, man! Okay, these guys are coming through the middle. Which is kind of unusual, but that's all right. I like this map. I, di I didn't mean to slide that far. Dang it. I like this map. Oh, good shot. I, I didn't think he'd come around that fast. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. Oh, I missed that shot. Oh, I keep missing that guy. Well, this isn't my gun. That's my gun. Good shot, good shot. Oh, I got hit from behind. I waited too long. I oh, this, this guy's a little mad. Oh yeah, I like this map a lot. Oh, dude, what's that guy f shooting? A longbow. The longest McBoas. Yeah, I saw you, I saw you. Oh, where did that grenade come from? Was that mine? We're still warming up, chat. This is the second game. Holy smack. This guy with the longbow, man. He is just hitting it. That wasn't even... Uh, uh, yeah. I kind of wondered. Boom! Shocky McLocky. Ah, uh, see, you can't. You just gotta. You just gotta go full Leroy Jenkins on this map. Oh, now two guys left. Oh, one guy's got seventy-six. Yeah, it feels that this one dude feels. Holy crap, I can't even... This guy with the longbow feels a little... So okay. Alright, I'm out because I can't sit here. I'm not doing a 4v6. It's just crazy. Alright, let's go. Let's just do some layover. Although, I wish they... I, I, I don't like the fact that they mix the maps up. Like, like layover has terminal and the other map. What's up, JL? Uh, are you going to try to, uh, try Call of Duty Mobile Warzone? Yes. Matter of fact, on the road, when we start the tour, 
maybe we'll call it the Great Gamer Street Tour, since we had the Great Esports Street Tour for the first one. But on this, this documentary, documentary tour around the country, I'm going to do a lot of mobile gaming. So I may get a Switch. Um, we'll see. It all comes down to, can we raise the money we need to raise? Like, it's going to be somewhere... Well, let's, let's say we only raised $10,000. Then I just have to cut it. Maybe, maybe I do like a few weeks of stuff or I don't know. We're not going to think about that. We're going to raise, we're going to have to raise probably somewhere between thirty dollars and $40,000 to do the whole summer's worth of filming, hire an editor, get, the, you know, get it done, spend a couple of months uh, in production. But we'll see. I appreciate that, ma'am. I appreciate that. For those of you that are just tuning in, what we've been talking about, and you'll see a lot more information, I just, I just uh, signed an agreement with a company that will manage. It's a new platform in talking with the founders. I want to do a documentary on the benefits of gaming and mental health and other things. We're going to call it Game Strong, Live Stronger, right? That's what uh, our initiative is. And, um, and viewers and community members can invest in it. Um, you know, for as little as 50 bucks to as much as you want, and you'll get a percentage of a return over a period of time, which we you know we have to work out after we get the interest poll done. The area. Holy crap, it bounced backwards. Leroy Jenkins. What if I just hang out right here? You think they'll run into me? Oh, I missed. So, chat, you're going to hear me talking a lot about this. Because I really... I really want to do this documentary. And I think we'll be able to do some amazingly cool things with it. Oh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Dang it, it keeps bouncing back. I keep hitting stuff. Nutler, are you in? Did I just see your name? I'm still working on an address so that you can uh, send me the cool stuff you've made. So hope, oh my goodness. Hopefully chat, me talking about all this stuff. Will be exciting and not like Oh crap! I was going for that guy. That guy's run right into me. This guy drop shots me and I'm missing him every time. Doggone it, these guys, these stupid. Oh, chat! I want to play Das House! Oh my goodness. I am so... I've been using the shotgun so much that I've gotten um, kind of lazy about working on my skills with the... with uh, the AR. Of course, I'm using the battle rifle. Oh my goodness! For reals, I hit that guy. Does no one have this? That's kind of weird.
I'm way overpowering my right thumbstick still. I got lazy with the shoddy. All right, where are these guys? The burgers are grilling. Hopefully my feet aren't. I'm just trying to hold hard point now. I don't know how I missed two guys stacked up right there and I missed them both. What if I snipe this guy? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> I stole this guy's sniper. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this guy's sniper, but I can't find anyone. Oh, sniper wiper. Sniper, no sniping. I knew I shouldn't have stayed there that long. I knew it, chat. The enemy's taking the lead. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'm missing so bad. It's all right, chat. We're warming up still. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Why does it seem like the ladder's really slow? Oh my goodness. I, you know, uh, I used to love this map, but now with the other ones, I like them more. Oh, I'm way overpowering the right thumbstick. That's the problem, is I'm not being subtle. Come on, come on. Take that. The enemy's taking the lead. <laughs> this guy drop shots. This guy's gotten me so many times. Oh my goodness, dude. Next hard point. Climb the ladder, please. Enemies deployed a counter UAV. Enemy UAV active. Friendly UAV on station. Why? Oh my heck. Why can I Maybe I need to put an optic on this if I'm going to if I'm going to run these maps. I, I'm I'm way too heavy on the stick controls. You're halfway to mission complete. Finish it. I'm I'm heavy. I'm heavy, chat. Relocating. Stand by. I got I got lazy. I got lazy. Friendly UAV online. Guys right there. Oh my, it was point blank. Why, what? That was a point blank shot in the chest and he walked away from it. This guy's, this guy's, he's hacking. 
I'm <laughs> just kidding. God, these guys with all their trophies. No trophies, please. How do we flip spawns? They were all they were all sitting right there. All right, all right. I don't. I can't find anyone now. That's what you get for hanging out behind the planter box. Man, I did yard work today, and my allergies are on fire. Fire, chat. Get him. Get him. Man. Oh, someone got him. Good job. Job, teammate. You are awesome. Chat, thank you for the likes, follows, shares, comments, awesomeness. We need to, oh, we're going to win this. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. What's a crash dummy? Oh, is that the, that's someone else's. <coughs> if you hear me cough, that's why. My allergies are just crazy. All right, let me catch up with comments. Sorry, chat. I'm so focused on these new maps. Uh, how was your wife's trip? She enjoyed her time away. She did, and she's leaving again tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's to Louisiana for, a, for her uncle's funeral. She'll only she'll be back on Sunday though. Yeah, always good to spend time with the grandkids and all of that. Thank you for asking, Nutler. Um. All right, so chat, Nutler, did you hear me talking about the documentary I want to do and the opportunity for our community to invest in it? Was in your game? You got me good? Oh, I, you were, Yeska? That was crazy. I should have some fun with the sniper. I, I think I, the, when they approached me, so they approached me after looking at my content. When they approached me, excuse me. When they approached me about it, I thought, this is a really interesting idea now I, I needed to vet them i wanted to <coughs> make sure that everything was you know legit that they had the right sec um licensing and all those kinds of things which they have all of that uh just thinking you uh think until june is enough time to plan everything absolutely absolutely i'm gonna be once we okay the first phase is well let me back up what appealed to me about this is that outside of just people subscribing or using a Patreon or a regular crowdfunding platform where you don't really get anything other than maybe a t-shirt or, I don't know, early release to something, you don't really... This is actually an investment. And with the... They take care of all the legal aspects. They take care of all the legitimacy and monitoring. It's, you know, they handle all the back-end stuff. Um... And yes, I am very confident that I can get everything. Because I've already done this. I've already done a tour. I already have all the equipment, almost all the equipment. Um, but I'll be talking... Uh, once... The biggest thing The biggest thing right now is to get the... Um, to get the... Uh, Why did you just stack up in the corner like that? Did I make you nervous? Now I need to reload. Yeah, you can actually... We'll, we'll talk about it again here. You actually can invest in the, in the documentary. Um, why is it not going? Why is it not going? It always goes in here. Um, 
Sorry, I couldn't see. Woo! Yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you, remind me after this game and we'll talk about it, how you can invest. And why why I'm so why I'm so um, why I think this is such an intriguing idea. Oh my goodness, I totally lagged out right there. No, why I don't want to no 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 what? Why does it do that? I don't want to control that. I just wanted to switch my guns. Oh, I can hear footsteps. It's okay, this is a weirdly quiet game. I'm so used to the sounds. I actually do think I'm gonna run with the shoddy too. Like, I'm kind of digging. I mean, not the shoddy. I mean, the, uh... Where are these guys spawning at? Did, did a bunch of them leave or something? No, they're all still in. This is so weird. I knew this guy was behind me. Dang it. Take all that time. I'm lagging really bad. 18% packet loss. Why? What's going on? What's going on with the servers? Gotcha! Gotcha! I'm now a controller player! Because I take the chopper! Three guys right there and he gets me. Why, why is he focusing on me? Because I'm the old guy? Is, is that why, chat? Says, go after the old guy. He's slow. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Should I run with the shoddy up here? I'm stuck. Oh, we're all together now. We're holding hands now. Look out. Coming upstairs with the shoddy. Okay. We don't know where these guys are. Oh, look at this. Ugh. Oh, it's like you can you don't find anyone then all of a sudden there's three of them. <laughs> Silly Ninja the third with a tier one sub, you go on the hat, my friend. You go on the hat. Stop. Stop. I'm going to set up a sniper. And uh, maybe this battle rifle. But, um... Oh, hold on.
Sorry, <laughs> I had to talk. My wife was asking me accounting questions. Reporting from Taco Beach. There's no. Oh, sorry, sorry. I we got it. We got it. You can hear me now. All right. So let's. For those of you that have just come in um, and aren't aware, so silly ninja, you're on the hat. We did this before, where everyone that um, that either subs to TikTok or Twitch gets on the hat. Everyone that, um, if you gift it, gift at least a galaxy on TikTok, then you get a special uh, thing on the hat. Okay, so um, hold on a second. Let's. I want to talk about this because this is going to be what's going on for, um, or what's happening right now. I just signed a contract. Well, I signed the first stage of getting um, an interest. We're going to do an interest poll. What I want to do is spend June, July, and August traveling to each one of the 48 states, the continental U.S. states, filming content, doing in-person events, but doing a documentary called Game Strong, Live Stronger. I'm gonna, it's whatever the tagline is going to be, but I want to talk to people that game. I want to talk to mental health care professionals. I want to do an entire documentary over the course of that summer, filming everything that will turn into a documentary, a series of some kind, and help the world understand all the positive benefits of gaming. And I want to get insights and testimonials and stories and, and all of that. And I want to do it through all 50 states. So we have to raise a lot of money, probably in the neighborhood of $40,000, to be able to accomplish that and get that done. Now, unlike a crowdfunding platform, or a Patreon or anything like that, if you, you can invest in this effort. And so what it means is, let's say you say, yeah, I've got 200 bucks, I want to invest in this. We haven't worked out the terms yet, we haven't done any of that, but let's say, just, just for throwing it out there, let's say that for that, I'm gonna dedicate 10% of all revenues from the Street Taco Weeder brand will go back to the investors. Um, and then based on the amount of money that you invest, you'll get, you know, a, a bigger chunk of that 10% or whatever. And maybe we say it lasts for three years. So, you know, I don't know what, you know, you, you can't, you can't, it's like, there's no guarantee, but I think if you look at the track record and what we're doing and how we're going, my intention is for these next three years to get this documentary done, blow this out. 2025, I want to go and do a European. 2026, I want to do maybe a, a South American, or maybe we'll go to Africa, um, and just keep this ongoing, right? And the beauty of it is that it's monitored and handled by this platform completely, so they make sure I what I actually do is I actually funnel, I actually attach all of the revenues that come as a content, and any content creator can do this. They just approached me. And I would, you know, and so what happens is that 
every revenue, not just from the documentary, but all of the content, you know, whether it's Twitch subscriptions, everything I make as Street Taco Eater Bread goes through this, this new LLC that they set up. And immediately, you know, every month or every time whatever comes in, they take out the amount that goes to the investors. And then I take my uh, money out um, that's left over. And then they hold that for you for a year. And then they, they pay out the dividends once a year. And so they manage it. So all of the accountability is there, all the SEC licensing, all of the other things are there. But what's really, really cool about it is the fact that you get to invest, not just gift. And you get to do that as a part of the entire content creation process that I do, um, as well as all of this work. So with that, obviously on the travels, we're going to be doing you know, live streams every day, game streams, mobile game streams. We're going to do interviews. We're going to tell stories. We're going to do, I want to do meetups in, in each of the states where we have followers. And we'll probably do something like set up on the website. Hey, I'll be in uh, New Hampshire or I'll be in Washington, D.C. or I'll be in Wyoming on this date. What city would you like me to come to if we have, you know, two or three or 10 or 50 people there? We'll come and spend the day and do some cool stuff. So that's what's coming up. So the big thing right now, yeah, we'll definitely do we'll definitely do Canada, Mexico. We'll do it, but right now it's going to be U.S. only. But one of the things that we'll that I, I think will just be really cool is that again, as outside of just gifting, you actually get to invest. I think this is a really kind of a next gen um, kind of a next gen iteration of what content creators can do, and it's really meant. Um, it's really meant to, like, for example, let's say that we have to raise $40,000 to, to pull off this summer uh, in the travel, right? Because it, it's going to entail, and I'm going to drive for sponsorships too, right? Because uh, essentially what I want to do is be able, we're going to rent a car. I've got to have hotel stays, travel expenses, you know, editor, equipment, all the stuff that goes to capturing all of this. And I've already done a tour like this, not one this big. Um, so I already know how to do it. And you guys, through the process, let, I mean, just take for example. What's up, Lou? Lou, you're definitely going to be interested in this, brother. I don't know if you heard what I was saying. Um, but the fact that you get to invest in a content creator. Now, they started it out working with amateur golfers. It'll work for a band that needs to go on tour. Uh, when will the contribution start? Well, the first thing we have to do the first thing we have to do is do an interest poll. So tomorrow I'm going to get all the materials that they need, an intro video and um, all of the other, uh, you know, my, my logos and all that stuff. The interest poll will be, you know, one, how many people are interested in doing it at what, what, what um, investment level, $50, $500, $10,000, whatever. Um, and so from that, they're able to project, okay, what do we think we can get in this period of time? You know, is it, do we think we can raise 10,000? Can we think we can raise 80,000? Um, so it's a process. So I anticipate, I have another call with the founders on Friday. I also have a podcast I'll be on on Friday. Um, it'll be live as well. But so I'll, I think by Friday, we'll have the interest poll ready. And then the interest poll will go out. And, and what I just need is you guys to just send it to however it's going to, you know, send everyone to the link, go through it. Yes, this is great. No, this stinks. I would invest nothing. I wouldn't, whatever. Um, but again, it's nice because the platform, the platform manages all the legality of it, all of the licensing of it. And the bigger thing that's really, believe it or not, the bigger thing that's appealing for me is that I get to bring you guys on with a financial investment or a return on your investment. Not just gifting, which I'm so appreciative of. All the subs, all the gifts, all, I'm so appreciative. And then, you know, maybe we'll do, I'm not sure what we'll do. The people that invest will do something that'll be kind of fun. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll print up some shirts with everyone's, you know, names on it and do some, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that will go into this. I want to start at June 1st and then be back August 31st. Um, and I just, I, I think I spent the last three days. Well, I got, we had our first phone call on Monday. We had another one on Tuesday, another one today, and then I'll have one Friday. Um, and, uh, they're very sharp guys. They've been around 
tech and finance for a long time, MIT graduates, that kind of thing, worked in Silicon Valley. So um, I just like the fact that it's not just a crowdfunding and it's not just, you know, one of those kinds of a things. You'll put in three? All right. I love it. I love it. That's, I mean, that's incredible. So stay tuned um, because when I have the interest poll out, um, it will be you'll get to, you know, kind of like I, the ones I've seen that people have done would be like, yes, I'm very interested. I would be willing to invest $50 or, you know, $200 or like Lou just said, $3,000, right? Um, that will help us know, can we get the traction we need for what we're doing? But the th I'm telling you, it's just crazy. It's crazy how what a, an incredible kind of a thing this is to me and, and, and to be able to involve you guys at a whole nother level. And the fact that my entire Street Taco Weeder brand, you are going to get a return on. Brand deals, ad revenue, subscriptions, donations, tips, anything that comes through the Street Taco Weeder brand, you guys get a piece of. You can put in three dollars. If I can get it, if I can get it that low, I, I I don't know how it works when we do the poll, like what the minimum amount is, what the you know maximum amount is. But um, I'm gonna do everything I can to make it um, to make it as accessible for everyone. Is the return on investing based around the revenue from the content? Where does that come from? Yeah. So let's see. So you could choose to uh, reinvest without having to cash out. No, it's a one-time entry, as I understand it. Um, it's a one-time, oh, <laughs> it's a one-time entry. So in other words, when it goes live, let's say that the minimum amount we need to raise is $20,000. We're looking to get $40,000. Um, if, as long as we hit the minimum, then, um, that's it. What, I mean, once it closes, then there's no more investing. You've invested what you've invested, as I understand it. Um, if we don't hit the minimum, let's say that we're the minimum is twenty thousand and we hit seventeen, then all the money goes back to you guys, um, and there's so there's you know there's not a risk there. Um, I really think we're going to be in the forty forty five thousand dollar range to pull off this entire event, but um, I'll, there'll be a ton of information. Uh, is the return on investing based around the revenue from the content? Where does that come from? Um, yes, it is everything the Street Taco Eater brand. And what I mean by that is this. Any content that I create. So take, for example, just to give you an example. When I put a video on TikTok, in the new creator program that I'm a part of, I get paid as a creator. I get paid, I think it's a dollar... 25 per thousand views of my video. So when TikTok pays me, they pay weekly. When I get paid, whether that's everything, all the revenue from TikTok, gifts, subscriptions, um, views, all of that, all goes into the LLC that they create and into that bank account. Same thing with Twitch. Same thing with YouTube. Um, same thing if I get a brand deal, if I go to a sponsor and they say, Hey, we'll give you $10,000. Um, you know, we want in on this, whatever that goes in everything that, you know, that street taco eater as a brand generates, you guys get a piece of, cause it all goes through the LLC and that bank account. And they automatically take out the percentage that I'm going to allocate to you guys and that goes on for whatever period of time we decide, two years, three years, five years, whatever it would be. So I just think it's an incredible, simple opportunity to invest in anyone. Maybe it's a band. Maybe it's your uh, a favorite tennis player that's trying to make it through the ranks. Maybe there's so many applications they're going to be taking this to. So that's what's going on. Um, what's up, Steven? How soon is the poll going to be up and what platform? So I have, tomorrow I have to get all the materials they need from me. My branding, um, the description, and a video that I'm going to do. So tomorrow morning I'm going to do a video. Um, and then I have a call. So I'll get all of that to them through the Google Drive and all the stuff we're doing. I'll get all of that to them. And then um, I have a call with both founders on Friday. 
afternoon. I have a morning meeting. I also have a podcast I'll be on live. You guys can watch. Um, I kind of, we play and do this podcast. Um, and so I'm anticipating that Friday or Saturday, the interest poll will be live. And um, I don't know how long the interest poll lasts. I'm guessing a couple of weeks or something. So, and that'll be, um, that will be available so that we can get a feel, all of us together, for what we're, we are going to be able to raise. The idea, I think, is that in the next two weeks, so I was thinking we'd get it done before my birthday on April 1st. In the next couple of weeks, two to three weeks, I'm, I'm imagining we're going to run the interest poll. And then when that's complete, we'll, we'll start the, then I'll sign a, a contract with them, an actual agreement, say, okay, we're going to do this. And at that point, we'll set the parameters. Okay, it's going to be 10% or 12%. It's going to be two years or three years or whatever it's going to be, whatever I decide that I want to do. And then you guys will then have the, an opportunity in a window to contribute. And then uh, once we hit at least the minimum, then we go from there. Um, and so that's kind of the process right now. So I'm anticipating by probably Saturday, we're going to have um, probably have the interest poll ready. And I'll make it available everywhere. I'll do you know a video on it. Um, we'll have links on the streettalkleader.com website. Now, that being said, this is still completely separate from 9292, from the, from the 9292 Foundation, the 501c3. So, you know, th people that donate to the foundation and do the things that we do there is going to be, that's the only thing that will be completely different. <coughs> um, am I doing it now? Yes, I signed the first agreement. So the first agreement I signed with them is to do the interest poll. If I invest $50, for example, but then win the lottery, I can't invest more. That's My understanding is that's SEC rules. Um, so no, it's not like that would be, once the round of funding closes, just like if you were going to invest, you know, seed money, series A, series B, whatever. If there are other opportunities um, afterward, like let's say, let's say that we raise $35,000. Um, and what it actually turns out to be is that they charge 9.4% uh, of that. So if it's $30,000, then it would be um, whatever that 9.4% is, you know, roughly $3,000 or so they, they add on for their fees. But so what happens is that, um, I, you know, maybe once we close that and that's done, maybe it's like halfway through the summer and we say, hey, we really like to do A, B, and C. We want to raise another, you know, $10,000, $20,000. And you guys have seen that it's growing and we're doing great things. I think that's the way you do it. But once the original one closes, that's it. Do you know if you uh, do you know if one investor can buy another investor's shares? I don't believe so because it's not shares. Like you become a member of the LLC, but you're not a voting member with any control. So I don't know. Um, like if you're talking about, yeah, I, I don't. Like if you're saying, can I donate on behalf of someone else? Um, that I'm sure, uh, can be done. Um, I have it, uh, I have an older brother, uh, who struggled with mental health and I remember him loving video games. That, that's the thing too, that this is what I'm talking about. The idea is that I want to do this documentary because the world doesn't understand. It doesn't understand in general the power that gaming can be and is for so many people with their mental health and emotional well-being struggles. And so you guys know I've been very transparent about us losing our own, our own son two years ago um, through his struggle with mental health. I have people that reach out to me daily in my stream or in comments or messages sharing their struggles and how gaming's helped them. I want this documentary to be an enlightening. So by the end of the tour, then we start working on the production of the documentary. But you guys will see live streams and I'll do content throughout the entire thing. But the actual documentary will, you know, will take, it might take two months or something to, uh, to complete, start getting the episodes out. But I want people that look at gaming for those that use it therapeutically to understand that there's incredible value. I'll be interviewing and talking with mental health care professionals. I hope to go to facilities. I hope to talk with just people on the street. Um, about, you know, and then just collect a massive, 
um, arsenal of, of stories. I can tell you, I have a friend of mine that's a high-level executive, and I can't tell you where, but he's a high-level executive in an in a, in a international company. And he told me that I used to read the stories that you guys would send in about how gaming has helped you get through dark times, how it saved your life, all of that. He'd tell me, I love, he would say, I love those videos. And every time I, I would sit and watch them and I'd find myself just bawling. That's the kind of thing I'm going to create in this documentary, as well as all of the other content. And getting out and getting a sampling from you guys, not to mention the in-person events we're going to do. So one of the things, it, it, that's where the power is, right? And that's what you're investing in. And so I want to make it incredibly valuable for you guys. I want to make it, you know, incredibly uh, uh, rewarding, not only in the content and things you're doing, but, but financially as well. Uh, maybe not shares, but another investor's portion, if for some reason they want out, um, somebody can buy the portion. I, I can ask that question, Lou. I think that comes into, uh, the, you know, Securities and Exchange Commission's guidelines and laws. Um, but I, that's a good question. That's a good question. I, I can ask. Um, I'll find out for sure. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Chat? Can you guys sense my excitement? Like I'm so fired up, not because of the project alone. I wanted to do this project since I did the great esports street tour, but now with the purpose and, you know, that I have with the foundation and all this other stuff and the work we're doing to mental health, I am like just on fire. Um, but I'm just as excited to be able to have you guys participate and get a financial benefit out of it, of all the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I don't, the interest poll, I'm really going to depend on you guys to get the interest poll out to everyone that you know, right? And so as soon as I have that, I will be live like crazy. Uh, we'll be talking about it. I'll be doing content. I'll post. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out. The other thing, too, Outside of those that are that have the ability to invest, maybe you don't have the ability to invest, but you have someone that would like to sponsor with clothing or a gas card for travel or you know a, a restaurant chain that would feed me a lot, whatever. There's all kinds of ways you know that that can be done as well. Okay, uh, we're gonna build another class. We're gonna build another class. I want to do a sniper diaper, and let's see what should we should we do. What do we want to do? Um, I thought I had a sniper built, but I, I actually, I guess I don't. Um, I was going to use the, the new marksman. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, we're going to save... No, wait, we're going to duplicate this. That's what we're going to do. How do I duplicate it? Um, oh, here we go. Duplicate. Oh, I guess I have to get rid of one. I have too many. Um, select the loadout you'd like to replace with Leroy Jenkins. Or, uh, um, I don't know. This one. Which one did I do? I don't even know which one I did, chat. Did I mess it up? I might have messed it up. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So this is the one. So we've got that one. All right. Let's edit this now. So we're going to we're going to go with a sniper for these other maps. Just to, like mess break it up a little bit. Uh, I just realized that the yellow skin doesn't have any red in it. I know. Black and yellow are our colors. I kind of had to make an adjustment. Um, from what I've heard, I'm getting as excited as you. I believe this comes through. It's, it's going to be amazing. I really do. I, I agree. Uh, this could potentially blow up. I think it's a great idea. I, I, I full on plan on it blowing up and you guys get to be, you know, beneficiaries of that, uh, to a degree. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to use? The stalker? Um, these are, let's, let's go to the firing range on this. I want to see how this feels. Chris, you just turned VIP, brother. Chris is VIP in the Twitch stream. Let's go.
Wow, this thing is like Hammerville. Okay, why don't I have... No, oh, that thing's, this thing's nasty. All right, we're going to use this, but we are... We, whoops, we are going to... We're going to mess around with it. Why not? Uh, we're going to change the camo. All right, and then we're going to change this to this, but I need to put an optic on it, maybe. So if I do that, what am I going to take off, though? That's the thing. I could change the barrel. If I don't do the 50-round drum, how many, how many mags is it? Or how many rounds is it? Do I even know? It's 30. 30 is not quite enough. 30 is not, not quite enough. I can be honest. So I could take off the stock. Gives me a little bit of recoil control. Um, but let's let's throw an optic on. Let's do. Um, maybe the MW or the MK. Let's let's see how it uh, let's go to the firing range. Uh, I can put fifty dollars when I get paid next week. Yeah, just just stand by for details. Boom! Man, this thing this thing hits hard. Okay, I, I think we're good. We'll we'll try these set. We'll try this setup. We'll see how it does. All right, let's do some more uh, layover. 24-7. Am I running customs? I'm not. Uh-uh. Yeah, the longbows, the longbows, this is the stalker. I'm, I'm running the stalker. The longbow's solid, though. I just don't think it's a one-tap. I think it's a two-shot. I don't know, guys. I don't know about you, but this just gets me super excited. Imagine, and I, I can't promise or guarantee anything, right? It's an investment. There's risk involved in everything. But can you imagine if, like, the documentary just blows up? Anyway. I don't, I don't want to get too hyped. I just want to, I just, this is an incredible opportunity to do something that I've wanted to do since the Great Esports Street Tour. So I'll keep you guys informed, and we'll keep talking about it. But the biggest thing will be tell all of your friends, right? Because it doesn't dilute what you get out of it by getting more and more people to do it. And it is going to be a big chunk of money. One of the things I have to do, I've, I've roughly worked out numbers, but I think we're really going to be in the thirty dollars to $40,000 range to do the entire summer, get all of the content, get a couple more pieces of equipment, have, I don't know, I, I may have to, in different periods of time, hire a cameraman to kind of come with me. But those are all details I'm going to, I've been looking at, got to work out. Even if it flops, that's going to create connection, which will ultimately help the mission. Yeah. Stand by. Uh, I haven't heard that since I was in the service. Haven't heard what? What? Did I say something? Should we try a little snipe a diaper? Oh, I missed. That was terrible. Don't you? They're, they're all waiting for you right there. Why am I not laying down? Kill confirmed. When I run a sniper, I end up playing a little more slowly. Like I don't, I, I kind of, I mean, I, you know, it's different, I guess. I start, I start kind of peeking for... Like, now I'm not even seeing anyone. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so bad with Sniper. Why is there a la That's not my laser.
Yeah, there's someone right here. Someone right here. <laughs> so bad with sniper. I should probably do a longbow or something. Or an MTZ. <coughs> oh, my allergies. That's what I get for doing yard work. I can't even find anyone now. Where are they? Are they are they are they all stacked up somewhere? Holy cow. I don't even have a I don't even have a kill. Cuz I'm messing around with the sniper. Golly. I, this is, what's hard for me is it ends up being like super boring. It ends up being kind of really boring. Oh, I shot the wrong guy. Well, where are they? Friendly UAV on station. How did that miss? Because it was a bad shot, chat. Friendly cruise missile deployed. I, I don't I don't know about this. I I He got him, he got him. He got him. Maybe I'm just a shotgun guy. Maybe that's, maybe that's, maybe I'm a shoddy guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sliding all over the place. I'll be coming around the back of the plane when I come around. What? Oh, for real? Really? Maybe I. Maybe my style is just Leroy Jink. Why am I stuck here? Leroy Jenkins. Friendly UAV on station. Secure the victory. Well, they ran away. Should I go back over here, though? Should I Leroy Jenkins the shoddy? I guess that guy's downstairs. Obviously. Hostile UAV in the area. Leroy The only restriction on, on investment is you have to be... You have to be at least 18 years old. Other than that, dog water and a bowl of meat. I'm not even really paying attention. I don't like this map anymore. I've played this map so many hours. I want to play the other one.
Oh my heck, dude. Oh my heck! I mean, we're gonna do a bunch of merchandise. We're gonna do a bunch of really fun stuff. It's gonna be super cool. This guy was showing all these places that you can that you can shoot through to get people in these spots. Like if someone's up here, like you can shoot through here. It's kind of actually interesting. Where, oh, where did my little friends go? Where, oh, where did they go? All right. If I'm going to run shoddy, we got to be sweaty. Saved your life, little friend. There's three guys, There's three guys in there. Whoa! What? What is that guy doing in there? I'm I'm bored with this. I, like I've played so many hours on this map. I want to play the other one. Dang it, dude! Snipers! Oh, he's just mounted over there. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, take that. Take that, you little ham bone. You little ham bone. You little fudge shickle. Oh, I wanted to go around the side and get that guy. Oh, look out. He's coming through. He's coming through. He's coming. Through. He's right here. Mm, boom. Take that. You little cheeseburger patty. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I see you in the airplane. I see you. Leroy Oh, I can't move. Silence. Oh, we lost by five points. Uh, where's Leroy Jenkins from? Can someone explain? I know I've heard it before. Leroy Jenkins was a... Um, Leroy Jenkins was a World of Warcraft spoof video that was done like 30 years ago. Um... If you played World of Warcraft, it'll make completely sense. But if you look up like the original, like Leroy Jenkins, it's a collection of World of Warcraft players, like eight of them or ten of them, getting ready to run a dungeon. And they're going through the... If you're ever a nerdy World of Warcraft um, player, you know that all the stats are right. You know, so your tank has got this equipment and this stuff, your... Your AOE guys, your your squishies, your casters. Anyway, they're going through all these stats. What's our percentage of uh, likelihood? You know, three point seven two percent. Let me look at this. Anyway, they're doing all this geeky stuff, and there's one guy in there. I won't give you up, give it away. That yells out, Leroy Jenkins, and uh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Especially if you were a Leroy Jenkins. Um, fan. I mean, if you were a World of Warcraft fan. Try small map mosh pit. There's a lot of uh, DOS house. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <coughs> All right. 
I also have family coming in town around 10 o'clock. So I'm going to all hop off probably around 10, say hi to them, get to bed early and get, get working on this, this, um, this poll that we have. Leroy Jenkins. Maybe we'll do a little bit of sniping on this map. Man, I did yard work today. <coughs> and it's getting into allergy season. It kills me. It drives me. Ugh, it's crazy. So if I'm coughing a lot, that's why. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Start right off with the sniper diaper. I don't think many people will act. Take that. Go team, go! Whoa, where's that from? Whoa! Where'd he go? Oh, save my life again. Save my life again. Let's go back here and snipe. Then we're gonna play some... This gets to be kind of boring though, right? Unless we can get some, like this little guy right here. Ooh, can you get a... Oh, look at this! What? Can you see over here? Not very well. He's still there. Sniping gets to be... Oh, my heck. We got one! Does that count, chat? Friendly UAV on station. Look at this, though. I didn't know you could get up here. That's crazy. We're playing the perimeter game, chat. I was starting to walk away. <laughs> it's, it's super satisfying to use the sniper, but it's also like takes another level of practice, right? What? What? What gun was that? That wasn't my sniper. That was weird. That's always fun. Friendly UAV online. The lead. Got him, he got him, he got him. I'm too slow. Too slow, chat. This is a really crazy slow gun. Woo! I'm 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 totally bored. I'm totally bored. Let's let's go play what Ryan said. Let's go play um Mosh Pit. Let's have a little action. I do. I do need all the ADS attachments. That's just a blueprint gun. So, yeah, it's absolutely true. All right. Let's go, shoddy. Let's go. No, I'm not. I, it's, well, maybe I do need to level it up. Maybe that's part of it. It's just a blueprint. Oh, you know what else I should be doing? Uh, I think I have a bunch of uh, double XP stuff. What do we max out at now? 450 or 425? Does anyone know? Oh, shipment. Why? Just why? <laughs> shipment. Uh, like, I just want to run the LMG. If we're going to do this, 
I'm just going to run the LMG, so hold on. So I've got the big... This one right here. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it's got 200 rounds. Like I just gotta find a, I just gotta find a corner. Never mind. <laughs> I can't. Oh my! I hate this map. I'm not. I'm not playing this map. I'm, I'm, we need some other maps. I, I hate shipments so much. I know I keep bailing on this, but I, it, shipment's just the worst. It's the worst. I want to play the house or meat or something different. Anyway, what's up, Sammy? How's it going? Have you been, my old friend or my friend? Been chilling? Been good? Life is okay? Yes, especially with what we're about to announce. And re well, I've kind of announced it with the agreement we've got into. Um, 450 is the new. Okay. What's up, Salty? Salty butter. Um, well, I haven't played Rust in forever. So as part of this summer tour and this uh, documentary filming, I'm going to do a ton of other stuff. In-person uh, meetups, if we can, um, because I want to get to every state, uh, all 48 continental U.S. states. Um, we're going to do some street taco reviews along the way, 100%. I want to, if depending on how we, it goes, I want to do some giveaways. Um, we'll be doing live streams, mobile gaming, um, just a lot of things every day. Um, and I think driving wise, it'll probably be about five thousand miles of driving, which I've driven. I've been, I've driven in every single state in the continental U.S. except for Maine. I, I can't remember if I've been to Maine. <coughs> although, although we did go sailing. And I went to Maine. So that counts, <laughs> I guess. What hat is that? This is the new sub hat. So when you sub to the channel, uh, either sub to TikTok or sub to Twitch, your name goes on the hat. If you gift subs, your name goes on the hat with stars, and then all of their names go on. Or if you do a galaxy on, <coughs> on TikTok, your name goes on the hat with a, uh, with a, I think I put a G on with it or something. Leroy Jenkins. So chat, I hope you guys will be patient with me as we start, as we talk more and more about the investment opportunity with this, uh, this documentary we're going to do. Uh, because there'll be a lot of people that obviously come through that won't know anything about it. Oh, we're kill confirmed. Okay. All right. I got to stay in the small. Oh. I should have just kept going. I turned around right there. Confirmed. Confirmed. Where are you, little friends? Where are they? I, I gotta reload. I gotta reload. Oh crap, I missed the door. Now I really have to reload. Best sound of the game. What if I'm only a... What if I'm only a a shotgun player? Oh my heck. 
That was terrible. I probably should have put it inside. Songrin! You know what I think? Oh my goodness, I can't get out of this replay screen. You got another star by your name, brother. I appreciate I appreciate that sub. That tier one. Can't move, I can't move. I don't know what's going on here. I'm stuck. What? Why'd you wipe out? That that was a bad place for the turret. I shouldn't have put the turret there. Oh my goodness, I was stunned. Little shoddy, shoddy. I gotta get my reticle up. My reticle's a little, little low. I saw him. I saw him. Salty butter with a prime sub. You're going on the hat as well, brother. I like salty butter. I just bought some, some salty butter. I'll, I'll put the names on after this game, chat. Thank you so much. Very generous, my friends. Very generous. <laughs> that was I gotta reload. Woo! Hold on, hold on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, it's stuck on the wall. I appreciate that, Salty. Salty, are you aware? Have you heard? The... Have you heard what we're doing with the video? For the documentary? No. I'm the shoddy boy. Yes, I am. I run the shotgun because it's so fun. Oh, what? Better ping. Better ping. Dang it. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy just sitting in the sitting in the corner. Boom. Yeah, so we'll talk about it between games. Essentially, you can you can invest in the Street Taco Eater brand. Golly, all of a sudden I'm getting smackadoodled. What? What? Game. Game's broken. Ugh. You thought I'd be Mexican? No, I was. I was born and raised in, <coughs> in Los Angeles, Southern California. No, with the knife. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Well, who's dropping trophies? Trophies with kids. Oh, 
so many people in my way. Son of a biscuit and gravy. Where'd that little hamster come from? Oh, sorry, little ham sandwich. Little mosquito, take that, best sound of the game. Oh, I thought I had my other gun out. Where'd you go? Oh, there's multiples of you. He's chasing me around. It's not very nice. Oh, take that. I didn't see where that guy went. That guy's so witty. this guy doing up here you little sardine oh i missed that, that was that was that was me that was it was all me oh crap oh crap golly i stunned myself and blew myself up Dang it! Oh, I like the shotgun. And I think I'm gonna stick with controller. Is that, is that bad, chat? Is that bad? I'll get to comments, chat. I know people are commenting. But I'm, I'm highly focused. Oh, I missed the door. Oh! And I missed... <laughs> oh, look out, look out. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. All right, we got two names we got to put on the hat. I'm sorry, what do they want to offer approaching your channel? I appreciate that uh, intimidate IG, but we are we're taken care of. We're good. We're good. Uh, what's up, two loss? What's going on? Um, okay, we got to put. Um, we dropped thirty five. We got to put uh, the names on the hat. Salmgren's already on here. I think. I think every time you do it, I'm just going to just add it again because otherwise, I, when it gets really full, I have to look for names and it's really hard to find them. We're just going to put Salmgren on here again. Salmgren 22. Salmgren 22. Okay, and then also Salty Butter. Salty Butter is going on the hat. Let's put it, let's do it a different angle here. Mix it up a little bit. S A L T Y. Salty butter. B U T T A. Yep. You are on the hat, salty butter. Uh, I'm not playing. I don't. I'm not playing shipment. Sorry. Do you have any kind of razor blade thing in here? I have a knife. Like. Okay. Oh well, no. I have um, a scraper. I think in my toolbox downstairs. Okay. <coughs> uh, 
Um, what's up, Carlos? Yeah, my hands. It's just, it's. I'm, I'm now. I'm getting a little too. This is my problem with the controller. Is just my hands getting kind of crampy. Plus, I here's the other thing. I did a bunch of yard work today. I mowed. I weeded it. I did weeds. I did um, like like weed and feed and all that. So my hands are tired from that too. Um, all right. So for those of you that are kind of just tuning in, I just want to. I want to keep. So those of you that are, um, just be patient here for a second. I have a project. I was approached by a company that does has a new platform that helps creators or you know low level athletes, musicians. They're working through. It's a brand new platform. Not brand new, but they they've been around for. They founded in 2018, 2020. One, they got a million dollars last year. They got another amount of uh, 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 fundraising. Anyway, long story short is that I'm going to do this documentary. I'm going to travel to every, over the course of June, July, and August, I want to travel to every one of the continental U.S. states and film all the benefits. So it'll be, the, it'll be a, a documentary called Game Strong, Live Stronger. And um, the bottom line is that we're going to do this uh, an, an investment opportunity for the average person in a content creator. And so these guys approached me. I've had three calls with the, with the founders. I have another one Friday and I've entered into an agreement with them to get to do a, a, um, um, a whatchamacallit poll, an interest poll and to see what we can do. So the bottom line is this, you can invest. I think the minimum amount is $50. I, I don't even know for sure, but I think that's what it is. Or you, I, I, maybe I can set the minimum amount. I don't even know yet. We're going to do the interest poll. But the bottom line is that we'll end up setting, based on the interest poll, you know, I can decide what return, 10%, 8%, 12%, whatever it is, and number of years, two years, three years, six years, whatever I want to do. And all of the revenue that comes in from all the content that I create, all the subscriptions, donations, gifts, all of the ad revenue, um, everything that'll come from the documentary, um, all of those kinds of things, you're going to get a return on. And so it's an opportunity for you to invest in a content creator, in my case, um, instead of just doing like a regular crowdfunding or, you know, a Patreon or, you know, those kinds of things, you actually get a return if it ends up being profitable. And so I want to, in filming this documentary, just blow up our community, blow up the content, blow up the viewership, and then, you know, be able to provide a return. So I have pure hatred for shipment. I, I will, I don't even, shipment's just terrible. Anyway, so that's what's going on. Um, I think by Saturday, um, I think by Saturday we'll be able to have the, the interest poll will be ready and then you guys can start um, you know, say, okay, this is what we're going to do. What would your interest be? Where do you see your, you falling in with wanting to, uh, invest? And that gives them and me a gauge to be able to look and say, okay, um, you know, if I need to raise $40,000, is that realistic or what would the minimum be anyway? So that's what the interest poll will be. And I think we'll have that ready by like Saturday. And then I'm just going to come to the community and say, Hey guys, cause I'll be going looking for sponsorships as well. Um, you know, I'm going to talk to everyone I know on the planet, you know, Hey, do you want to, uh, you know, go to a dealership? Hey, you want to give me a car to drive around in? We'll get it wrapped. We'll, we'll talk about your dealership. Anyway, there's all kinds of stuff that we'll do, but the most exciting thing for me about it, besides the fact that we're going to get this documentary done that talks about mental health and gaming, the benefits of gaming and help educate the world is it, I, I'm just really excited that the community can actually have a way where they can benefit from this. I mean, we're talking about a group, you can invest in the stream and return, doing a documentary stuff. Yeah. So it's the, the really cool thing about it is that everything around the Street Taco Eater brand, you get a piece of. All right, now we're in Das House. We're in Das House. We took the. Ch oh, dude, you, you knocked me completely out of the way here. Oh, he jumped down. Dang it. Why did I put my shoddy away? That was dumb. All right, so we got one of those little canister sitter guys. Watch 
Dude, I, I can't even see what's going on here. Oh, he's, I ran right in front of him. What? What the heck is going on here? Okay, let's get into the rhythm. This is a full, this is a full send Leroy Jenkins. Oh my goodness. I'm just running right, right in front of these guys. I'm not even seeing them. Wow, okay, okay. How often do I have zero kills? Like never? Okay, okay, this guy's just holding it. Okay, all right. You little turnpike. We, we got to focus here. All right, we, we broke the ice. We broke the ice. We got the first one done. Now we get on a rhythm. Now we get on the rhythm. Th there's a guy sitting right here. Nope. Oh, I'm out of ammo! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, I didn't realize I was out of ammo. I should have just switched guns. Oh, the stuns. This is a terrible game for me. I usually rock this. Oh my, missing every shot. Miss. Oh my heck. Wow, I have three kills? This is crazy. That's okay, we'll pick it up, we'll pick it up. Oh my goodness. For reals, what is going, okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta focus here, chat. This, this is terrible. It's terrible. Oh my, what is going, like I cannot find these guys. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I have three kills. I never. All right, all right. What? We gotta lock in here, chat. Oh my heck, man, that is right on me. I can't, I can't, I still can't move. Oh my, what is going on with all the lethals? These, these guys. These guys are just smashing lethals. Oh, this is out of control. I, I, wh how am I getting so just pummeled here? Oh my heck. Oh my goodness. I, I, I don't ever... I've never had a game like this. Oh my heck. Dude, what is going on with my game? Seriously, you just bumped me out of the way? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy! This, this is, this is dumb. I always get double figures at least. Oh my, I, this is. 
I, I, I'm kind of speechless. I've never had less than 10 kills on this on this map ever. Not one time. That was insane. I don't know what's going on. That was crazy. Is this game actually fun for you every time I get on? It's like, no, it's a blast. It's a blast. I, that was just that just kind of totally blew me. Every time you get on, it doesn't look like I'm having fun. You should you must not get on very often. When have I ever done a 0.3 KD? Especially on that that was it just, I don't know what kind of lobby I got thrown in. That was nutty. I haven't tried Warzone Mobile yet. No, I will though, for sure. Especially, that will be, um, that'll be a big thing for um, when we do the, the, the road trip, the tour. The documentary tour. I'll do a lot of, uh, I, I have to figure out how you live stream mobile gaming. That's one thing I have to kind of figure out too. That lobby was insane. Like, it must have been a different skill play. I mean, there were, there were more lethals, and people were dropping ammo boxes. <coughs> I haven't seen people drop that many ammo boxes since I can remember. That's a big part of it, so. I've uh, been following for more than a month, though, and watch occasionally. I, I, I mean, if I don't look like I'm having fun, that just was a nutty lobby. That was an incredibly nutty lobby. I, I've never, I mean, I have, my record on that map is 72, so how do I get a 7? <laughs> we'll see what happens this time, see if it's any better. I've got so much to get done tomorrow for this, uh, to get this poll out. All right, what do we got? Let's go. Let's turn this around. That, that lobby is out of control. Uh. Dude, you little corner. Mm. Oh my, here we go again. Can't move, I can't move. Stunned. They're all stacked up in there. See, this lobby already feels totally different. Oh, and the lack 19% packet loss. What's, what's up with that? I, I don't know why I just ran through that. That was all plugged up there. Yeah, I, I think part of it is the ping is so bad. Like, I have 19%. I have 19% latency on this right now. Yeah, it's that's, that's a big part of it. That's what's different. Like, you see, like, if you're on Twitch, you can't see it on TikTok. But, oh my heck. I have 19% packet loss. Wow. It's it's so the game is so laggy. This is crazy. It's so bad. 19% packet loss is horrible. And that's why I think I'm losing a lot of these 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 gunfights.
I'm, I, oh my goodness. And I know it's not just me and my internet because everyone's talking about it. <clears throat> Golly, good shots. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's yeah, the la I might just restart the game. I don't think it'll really help. But Yeah, it's it's really bad. That's that's what it is. What kind of mic do I have? Uh it's the Elgato. Yeah. I mean, for the money, it's it's yeah, even the time that I fire, there's like a, a half second delay before there's a register. Yeah, this is. I, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna restart the game. It's unplayable. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the whole game. It's really bad. Yeah, no, it's on the. Um, it's on the. Uh, Jake, is that all you ever say when you come into my stream? Fix that aim. I think that's all you have ever said. Um, no, it's it's their servers. It's their servers for sure. Every for about the last week, every time I hop on, it's um, uh, there's there's uh, packet loss. Like nineteen percent is really high though. So I don't know if that is is. Um, Battle.net servers or Activision servers. Either way, though, it makes the game really hard to play. <coughs> so I don't know what changed is what's interesting is because usually I'll see packet loss pop up on the screen as an orange warning message, but the percentage that you see at the top of the screen if you're on, on Twitch or YouTube, the percentage that's up there is, um, is always zero, almost always zero. Maybe for an instant, but now it's consistently like 19% all night. So that's on their end. It's on their end. What made me decide to switch to controller? I just, people have been bugging me to do it for a really long time. And um, I wanted to give it a try, have the experience, having been on, um, having been on uh, mouse and keyboard for so many years. I mean, I think I like it. Uh-oh, is the game crashing? All right, so right now we have zero packet loss. So I'm going to see how it changes once we get into a game. I think I'm going to stick with controller, though. I do want to get a controller with buttons on it, though. So is mouse not worth it? No, I think, I think mouse is definitely worth it. I think... I'm actually really surprised. I've played mouse and keyboard for almost 20 years. I'm actually really surprised that I'm liking controller. Just looked at my Twitch analytics and I've already streamed for almost 12 hours almost every day. That's awesome. That's awesome, Speed Demon. Yeah, trust me, you're not the only one experiencing the packet loss. I do, yeah, it's, it's so bad. Right now it says zero, but I'll bet you it jumps up. Yeah, there it is, 17%. Yeah, it's 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 really it's really bad. It's so bad. Holy smack him. That's not wait, this isn't my gun. This isn't my gun. Oh chat. Yeah, these lobbies. You can you can definitely you can definitely feel every bit of the. That was just a bad shot. No, what? 
Yeah, see, like, I'm just getting, like, there's enough. Maybe everyone else is experiencing it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's so bad. It's 18% packet loss. Wow, he just got a collateral. Okay. Watch this. I hit this guy before he even swung. Wow. I'm just going to say wow. I, I, I don't have a single kill. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I have three. Maybe we just need to... I'm stuck. Oh my heck. What lobbies have I gotten into? I didn't hit three guys. Three guys. I'm, I'm, I'm firing on. I didn't hit one of them. Wow. These are just better players. I, I can tell. These are way better players. Golly, this guy right here is just smashing me. Look at these guys. 63, 48, 43, 40, all of them. And I have eight. <laughs> yeah, this is just a different lobby. It's just a different lobby. Better players. What? Was that sus or was that... Oh, I'm, man, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, chat. That was a little snappy. That was a little snappy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Lag! It's, this is, this is... 19%. Someone look up and see what packet loss, what they say the effect is. It's almost impossible to play. Like, oh my heck. <laughs> look at this. I have... I have single digits. Now, I came into this game late. It was already underway. So. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah, this is look at look at the numbers here. This is just this is just this is just a, a higher skill lobby than I'm at. That's all. Just some good players. And I'm missing every shot. I literally can't hit a shot. I mean, is is packet loss is 
Wow. Like, I don't, I almost wonder how much is the packet loss. And I am, I'm running a shoddy too, I get it. Oh my goodness, I'm not even going to make 10. That's insane. Wow. Wow. I didn't, that's, too, that's crazy. I'm getting thrown into some really crazy lobbies. Packet loss definition. Packet loss is the loss of data being exchanged between your computer and a game server. In the case of packet loss, instead of simply taking a long time to travel between the client and the host, some packets never arrive at all. When this happens, a packet must be reset causing lag. There you go. So 19% of all the information that's trying to get from the server to my computer is being lost. And having to be resent. That's insane. That's insane. Thank you for looking that up, Speed Demon. Like that's just incredible. How is that even 19% of their of the information being sent being lost? What's up, Grouchy Games? It's trending on Twitter how it's lagging because of bots on here. Yeah, it's it's something's yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's 19%. That's one-fifth of the information that your game needs to run effectively is getting lost from the server and having to be resent. That's crazy. That's a crazy high number. Yeah, I just, I was running shoddy just because... Um, just because um, I want to work on my aim on controller. Yeah, one-fifth of your inputs aren't making... No, one-fifth of the inputs from the server, to me, are not making it from the game server. So the game server is having to resend one-fifth of all the information to make the game run smoothly. That's... And it's trending on Twitter, apparently. It's out of control. 19%. I've never seen it be a consistent number like that. That's crazy. But, I mean, it's got to be happening for everyone, right? It can't just be me. It actually, this, now this actually feels a little bit better. Okay, this actually feels a little bit better. Maybe I just like this map more. Best sound of the game. Boom. Okay, these guys are like hanging back in the corner now. Why? Oh, didn't didn't get you. I need to uh My my reticle's super low. I'm not getting lazy. Getting lazy chat. Where did my I don't know why my drone didn't get him. That was kind of weird. Mm, gotcha. Oh, what was that? It's funny, it actually feels a little bit better. Is that weird? Oh, where was that? Oh my god, okay, I just ran into his line of fire. That's all that was. Okay, 
All right, all right, you little proxy miner. I saw that guy back there. Golly, what is it? Like all of a sudden now we got these guys just. All right, focus. Oh, my poor little machine. My poor little gunner. Stop with the proxies. Oh my heck. My stupid proxies. Woo! Come on, you little... Mm. No flipping... How was this guy able to do this? It only took me four lives. Oh my goodness. I was like stunned, I couldn't tell. Best sound of the game! <laughs> Salty, you're out? I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for the prime sub. Okay, that was not a hit. Oh my goodness. I wonder if the packet loss is not just um, like not registering hit markers. It's got to be part of it, right? It's got to be part of it. Oh, come on. Are you seriously... And then he teabagged me. <laughs> Where'd they go now? Oh my goodness. That's out of the game. Get him. Oh my. Yeah, it's the delay from the time you shoot to the time you get a hit marker is um, is crazy. Woo! Oh, I missed the window.
Where, oh, where did my little friends go? Where, oh, where did they go? Best sound of the game. Holy cow. What? Oh, there's only four of us. <laughs> For real? I mean, what are you supposed to do here? <laughs> wow. Oh. What's up, Ram? What's going on? Uh, your latency also say NA. No, my latency says... Oh, my latency says, yeah, not available. Yep. What's up, Skip McGee? No, it's still 19%. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. What's up, Albert? Leroy Jenkins. How can it be fixed? Do you know? On there, it's on their end. It's a server issue. It's not. It's not on my end. It's. It's an Activision thing. Sovereign says it's been an issue since the update. It's terrible. It, it's. 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 It's unexplainable, right? It's like how? How do you let this happen? I don't even know. Yeah, it's definitely you can I mean you can definitely run around with a knife, right? I mean that's there's no question. Oh, not meat again. Uh, not meat again. <coughs> allergies, allergies, ow, ow. Hmm. I can say honestly, can't wait for Trey Arcs and deals. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing though, too. It's not just Trey Arc will definitely they they definitely get the game more. But the other thing to understand is that Call of Duty is on 30 year old servers, or like the servers are so outdated compared to compared to what everyone else is running. Fortnite, Valorant, everyone else. It's just completely antiquated servers. Great, I just flattened myself. Oh my goodness, yeah, the latency's out of control. It's, it's, it's unplayable. It's literally, I don't know if I play something else. I mean, I, it, I literally, it's, <laughs> and it seems to be in every game mode. It's almost like you can't, like you got to play something like Layover or something that's not as action-backed because you just can't. It's just crazy. I also mainly miss my round-based zombies. Uh, have, you, have I beat uh, The Last of Us Part 2? No. Uh-uh. Um, but yeah, 19% late, late, 19% packet loss is just crazy. It's just crazy. I don't know if I'll be, what time is it now? I'm going to stream for about another hour or so. And then I've got to get, I want to get to work on this, um, this documentary, this new investment opportunity for you guys, this uh, opinion poll. I got to get some stuff done on that. Maybe we'll rock the sniper a little bit. We'll play a little bit of the sniper. What's up, bruh? Can you tell me something? What do you want to tell me? I'll tell you what the one thing I miss. Well, two things I miss in COD. Black Ops 2, best of all of the Call of Duties ever. And um, um, Nuketown. Nuketown was so much fun. 
audience back in the day. But here's the thing. It's a way younger audience that's playing now, too. So the game, the way the game plays, the way that people play the game is very different than it was 15, 20 years ago. Like, like way different. <coughs> and that's okay. That's just evolution, just the way it is. <sighs> Man, I got up at, I woke up at 4 in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep. Is that crazy? And I went to sleep at, like, almost 1. That's what happens when I get heavily immersed like into a project like this new documentary and the stuff we're gonna do. S and D? No, I'm not a search guy. The only time I played search was when I was playing ranked. Bullet 6000, thank you for the follow over on Twitch. That's not what I chose. Yes, it is. The whole, the whole, like, ex the whole experiment with this was to, dude, stop. Um, he won't peek back. He's gonna come around the other side, right here. This is the kind of game we got going here. I'm also... I'm also hungry. I can tell. Dang. Oh, you know what? I need to build... I need to build a better sniper. Or, let's see, I have a... I have an interceptor. But this is like a two shot. This guy, the sniper will be here. No? What's my other? Oh, pistols. Well, that's that's terrible. That didn't even that did like duda. The enemy has captured two objectives. Get them secure. Securing objective alpha. I haven't used this loadout in so long. Woo! I don't know if I like this loadout. I can't remember why I built it. Yeah, I don't like this loadout. I don't like this one. Um, the Bass B. The MCW. We're just going to go with the old standby. <laughs> what? What? Yep, 19% packet loss. Oh, chat. I don't know, man. What the hootenanny is going on? We're taking Alpha. The enemy holds two objectives. Secure those positions. I can tell I'm getting hungry, too. I can tell I'm getting hungry. Objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. 
This isn't, um... I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I used to have smokes. I don't have smokes anymore. Where, oh, where have my little friends gone? Where? All right, we're going to snipe. I'm in. I'm in. Oh, I need to re I know what I was going to do. I need to I need to build this with faster ADS for faster movement. Okay, there's a sniper back here, right? Oh no, we're, all right, we're back here now. How about this? How about this? Look, you can get up here. Get, holy crap! All right, we gotta we gotta change our sniper. Do something different here. Yeah, the servers are horrible. Horrible. I haven't played any ranked uh, in a while because I've been trying to get used to controller. When you're in a game with 19% packet loss, it, it's just like. Does Activ is Activision even saying anything? Ugh. Um. Yeah, I don't. They never. Their communication is so bad. It's so terrible. It's so terrible. I was trying to think if there's something I can run down real quick and eat. Because I can feel myself being hungry. I'm also thirsty. That might be part of it. Um, let me go grab something to drink here real quick, Chad. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. I just had a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a brioche roll. Oh, where's my glasses? Shoot, I think I left them downstairs. Hold on, chat. All right, now I'm back. <clears throat> um, yeah, they probably do have a lot of focus on, on Warzone Mobile right now. Apex Legends had attorney and people would hack their accounts mid-game, make them use wall hacks. That's crazy. Did I forget it? No, I... What's up, Lynn's Chill? Um, no, I, um, I went to get a refill, and I had a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a brioche bun, a little bun. Okay, chat, so here's a question. Chunky or smooth peanut butter? Chunky or smooth? Smooth, you're banned. Robert, smooth too, you're banned. How could you want smooth, man? You need some texture. There's little crunchies in there. Did anyone say hello to uh, Bullet6000, by the way? He said, what's up, chap? Thank you, Yeska. That's the, Chunky's the right, <laughs> that's the right answer. Oh my goodness, now we're on this map. I'm just the opposite. If there's nothing but 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 smooth peanut butter, then I'll eat it. But you guys do such an amazing job of smashing likes. Other streamers that have way way less people or way more people in stream have way less likes. Oh, jeez. All right. I, I mean, if I tried... What? I don't know what that is. I think it's an old, old, old VR thing. I don't know. Spencer's, maybe? I, I just don't want to play this map. That's all. Yeah, that's true, Ryan. It's because we have a mission. We uh, we believe in it. Yep. Other streamers about themselves. It's true. It's definitely true. I was gonna mix up the. I was gonna mix up the. Um, like I'm almost wondering if I should run the shoddy with a, just a shield. On these small maps. That's what I should do. Um. Camo. Oh, look at that bad boy. Now we're now we're fully toxic. We're ready. In Dots house! Because we took the chopper. I am almost max level. I know. I should run another um We'll do 45 minutes. Double XP. All right, now we got a shoddy and a shield. We're gonna go full set. I can't believe two games, I had seven 
I had under 10 kills. Like, what's up with that? I like this map. This map is kind of the right size for, like, super speed play. What if I stand right here and see how many people come out and fire down this lane? Right? Watch. Watch. Look, look. All right, we're on fire. I had a little food in me. See, I, I was hungry. I had a little Sammy. I had a little, oh, now, see, oh, God, we're, we got this now. Well, oh, we're on fire now. Oh, my goodness. Now I got to remember I have a shield. Oh, I threw it out the window. Having the shield on your back is definitely helpful. Woo, I'm stuck. Oh, take that. Good shot. That was dandy. Get your reticle up. See, I'm getting, I'm getting lazy. Oh, I should have pulled the shield out. <laughs> I, I don't want to be the shield guy. <laughs> I don't want to be the shield guy. <laughs> oh, come on. It's broken. Okay, I feel like one of these guys is just sitting back there with a sniper. Should I just go in with the shield? They all left. See, I don't have any... I don't have any range. Mm. Why do you feel so much better when you put a little food in you? <laughs> he tried to semtex me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the latencies. I I can't. That's crazy. Crazy. I think I want my uh I don't know. Just dude, you got to get out of my way. What? What? Spawn Flipperama. You are. That was just a bad spawn for those guys.
He knew I was coming. What's up, Lakers for life? Um, I have not been playing rank because I've been trying to get used to, to uh, controller. Which is my convenient excuse. Look out, look out. Is that our chopper? No. <laughs> the delay between shots and hit markers with this 19% packet loss is just nutty. Not nice, not nice. The game's so broken. All right, we're going to have to change loadouts. Um, what do we want to do? Oh my goodness, what did I just run into right there? Now we got a haymaker, though. We flip spawns? Oh, okay. I could even see his his uh his marker. Oh, I had the wrong gun out. I had my haymaker out. Alright, we need to um, we need to build something more fun with to, to like combat this 19% packet loss. Um let's build Let's see here. Um, that's going to be our sniper. We don't want to run the shield. We've been having fun with that, but maybe we should just run. What's the other one that has the... Wait. What's the, um, what's the shoddy... Like, it looks like now, this is the... It's not the Haymaker. Which one has the uh, the attachment? I mean, the, uh, the mod. Is that the... Oh my goodness, can I just get this right, please? What's a good Haymaker build? Uh, Charlie Intel posted a Call of Duty cheat business is shutting down today or else COD will sue. What? What's shutting down? You mean they're going after one of the businesses that sell hacks? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. <clears throat> I have heard they were going to do that. I've heard they're going after one of these. Um, one of these. I'm going to smash some likes here for a second. Um, okay, what was the other? What What was the other shoddy that had the um, that other attachment? It wasn't the Lockwood. It wasn't the Haymaker, because it's not there. Oh my goodness, dude, why? These are some of the things I'm not used to on controller. Oh, here it is. It is the Haymaker with a conversion. Yeah. 
Matter of fact, I was looking at what is the good build. I think I was actually was looking at it. What's the right build for the haymaker? Haymaker, haymaker, make me some hay. Uh, right here. Okay, here we go. All right, crown breaker choke. <gasps> We're running around with this. I mean, you just kind of get bored sometimes. Uh, crown breaker choke right here. Uh, the long barrel. This is one that kind of confuses me, though. It gives better range. But we kind of want with this, don't we just want like ultimate fast craziness? I don't know, we'll throw it on and mess around with it. I'm not doing the laser, uh, FTAC, MSP, under barrel. Wait, which one is it? The MSP. FTAC, MSP. Right here. All right, and then the conversion. So if I don't use the laser <coughs> and I use a short barrel, what else do I put on? Maybe a rear grip? Sprint to fire speed. That's good. It's human gun kick. Very cool. I mean, sprint to fire speed. Let's, let's throw that on. We're just going to mess around. I'm just, I'm just bored now. All right. Let's go have some fun. And then, um, not the shield. Let's run. None of those look interesting. I mean, this this S, this uh, this subverter is actually really good. I think I can't remember what I took off though. If I if we gunsmith this, wrong one. And I want to put an optic on like the uh, MK3, which should be right here. What do I take off? I want to keep the 50 round. Do I, do I take the barrel off? Range and recoil control. What do I get out of this? Recoil control. Ah, oh, it's a hard one. Maybe we'll take the barrel off and just try this. These are small maps anyway. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it, chat. Tomorrow, I should have... Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I've got... Let's see, so, I have, a, I have a... Oh, speaking of which, I need to... That reminds me. I need to see when my podcast is. Um, um, these are all for the 15th. Well, he hasn't sent me an invite. All right, what are we doing? Oh, this. Okay. All right. All right. This map's a little less. Everybody was Jack. Conversion. Okay, okay. I I'm just going to mess up. We're just going to go crazy with this. I'm not even going to pull out. Well, yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> such a stupid gun. It's such a stupid gun. It is kind of weird. It is kind of weird to get used to, though. Because it's a it fires when you release and you pull. What, why, what's going on? I can't, what's going on? I can't get in here. What? What the? That was that was bizarre. That was crazy. 
Man, I don't know if it's... I feel like... Maybe, maybe you do need the long barrel. Maybe you do need the long barrel. So if I put the long barrel on... I haven't played this map in so long. See, it's it stops firing when you move a little bit. I gotta figure out that how that works. It's it's so dumb. It's such a weird gun. It's funny because we all tease people that use this. Woo! I'm so sorry. And people yell at you. Because it's such a low skill. It's such a low skill gun. What? Your teammates all around me. That guy walked right in front of him. Oh my goodness. There's something about, like, I gotta figure it out. Oh, you know what I think messes it up? The automatic tactical. The, uh, the automatic tactical sprint. That, that's what's messing it up. That's what's met. I'll bet you if I turn off the automatic tactical sprint. And if I turn this off, I'll bet you, I'll bet you, I can't move, can't move. I'll bet you that makes the difference. Let's see. So many guys right there. See, it's there's something makes it pull back at the weirdest times. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I hate if you don't slide. What? What? If you don't slide into there, you just get stuck. It's so bad. Okay, okay, I can't move. I can't move. I can't. I still can't move. I still can't move. Jeez, man. What? Well, that guy's just dropping down.
Are we winning? No, not even close. Yeah, something about something about the movement interrupts the fire rate. That's that's what's weird. And it seems to be I, I'll, I'll get it figured out. And when you have 50 rounds, it's so... <laughs> See, like, that's crazy. Shouldn't have missed that. Fun times, fun times! Um, am I done with ranked? I, I mean, I'm kinda? Kinda? It's hard to imagine playing ranked right now as bad as the servers are. That's part of it. That's part of it. No, you never have to reload. Not that. Not that gun. No way. Good times, good times. So chat, stay tuned um, for the release of the... Uh, I'm going to do a documentary. I'm going to travel. I want to travel the country, every state in the country. Um, and so we're going to do a documentary called Game Strong, Live Stronger. Talking about the benefits of gaming and mental health and all of that. Um, I'm going to travel around talking to mental health professionals uh, gamers like you with stories about how gaming helps them. Um, there's going to be an opportunity for you to invest. There's a new platform out that allows just the average person to be able to invest. And um, I'm really excited. There's going to be an interest poll that we're going to get done here probably by Saturday. Uh, so I've, I've signed the first agreement with this company to do it, and it's all SEC approved, and it's all accountable, and, it's, and I'm super excited about it. But now I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> so I may not seem to sound as excited. What's up, John? 18 hour shift. You are a machine. That's crazy. And you still have you still have the energy to come in and share some love. I appreciate it, John. Much love to you, my brother. Boom, let's go. See, there's something it stops firing. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's terrible in here. Wow, this is... And I hate shipment. You guys know I hate shipment. I... I... I, uh, I, I really don't want to play shipment. Okay, they're, they're not even playing hard point. No, I'm not, I'm not, play, I hate shit, I hate shipment. I despise shipment. I'm not playing shipment. Sorry, chat. <laughs> no shipment. Uh, do I ever have, okay, need to take that on. Uh, yeah. Uh, when coming to North Carolina, please come to Greensboro. So here's what we're going to do. When we start the tour, so we're probably going to have to raise about $40,000 is kind of what my guess is. Um, whoops. Um... So I'll come up with the actual dates with the states that I anticipate being in, and then we'll go to the community. It'll be up on the website. You'll be able to say, hey, if we know when you come to North Carolina, please go to Greensboro, right? Or, um, you know, go to Charlotte or whatever. And whatever the votes are that has the most people, that's where we'll go uh, or try to accommodate that. Because we want to do in-person events on the tour as well. That's to do with my favorite streamer, man. Uh, beat, get to bed, much love, brother. Yeah, you go get some sleep, John. You go get to bed, brother. <laughs> but I just think that the world needs to understand, like in this documentary, that we're gonna, the world needs to understand what gaming does and me, does for people and means to it means for them, what it does for them and means to them. 
Let me get that right. Oh, we'll come to Jersey for sure. I'm going to all I'm going to all 50 all 48 continental states. That's the plan. In 90 days. Hard point. Control the target area. Hard point located. Okay, here we go. Already. Rocket launcher. That's what you're that's what you're playing with. That that's what you're playing with. Okay, okay, dude. Come on, for reals? No, 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 I'm not. This guy's hacking. <laughs> this guy, this guy's at, this guy's moving like there's some, there, there's no way. Uh, you said you want uh, gamers to talk. Will there be applications for that? Will you have a way to donate? Uh, will there be a way to donate to that as someone who games and studied psychology would love to be a part of that? Yeah, so here's how it's going to work. Um, we're going to say, okay, so let me back up for those that aren't aware of what we were talking about with this new documentary that I want to do. It'll be a three-month filming session. I'm going to go to one state. I'm going to go to every, in 90 days, I'm going to go to, you know, to every, all 48 continental states. So I'm not going to Alaska or Hawaii unless near the end it seems like, you know, we have the ability to do that. What I'm really excited about is not only because I've done the great esports street tour. This may be the, the great gamer street tour. I don't know, GGST or something. We'll see. But what, I, what I'm really most excited about is I was approached by a company, a platform that allows followers of content creators or fans of an athlete or a, a band or something that wants to raise money to do a project, go on tour, make a documentary, whatever, um, to be able to invest and so rather than doing like a crowdfunding where you don't really get anything other than, well, you'll get the first LP or get a T-shirt or something or Patreon or something like that, this is actually an ability to invest in the project. And here's how it works in basics. Um, when we launch it, I think the minimum amount is $50 that you can donate, I think, in our conversation. So the founders of the company reached out to me after looking at what we're doing and looking at my content and all that. So... What happens is we're going to do an opinion poll. That's I've signed the agreement to get the opinion poll out. Hopefully it'll be out this weekend. And then we'll see what the interest is. Then based off of that, we'll say, okay, we think we can raise this much in this time period. And what's really cool about it is that they set up an LLC. Um, there's, a, there's a main bank account. And then um, di distribution goes to the investors once a year. It's all, and they hold me accountable. But what's really cool is that you're not just investing like in the documentary, you're investing in the entire Street Taco Eater brand. So all revenues that come through, you get a piece of. So let's say that we decide that it's a 10%, we're gonna take 10% of all the earnings and put it to the investors, and we're gonna do that for three years, let's say, something like that. All of the revenues from ad revenue, subscriptions, donations, gifts, um, brand deals, anything that comes into the Street Taco Weeder brand, revenue-wise, 10% of that goes to the investors. And then based on how much you invest, you get you know a percentage of that. So what's really cool is not only do you get the benefit of what I'm going to produce, all the content, the live streams throughout the entire tour, the ultimately the, um, the documentary, but you're going to be an actual invested part of it. And so I spent uh, about five days talking with the, the founders, making sure it's all legit. Do they have the SEC licensing? Do they, you know, and it's absolutely solid. Um, you know, there's no guarantee, but what's really cool is the fact that you get to be beneficiaries by that investment of getting this project off the ground of the entire Street Taco Eater brand. And so that's what um, that's what's coming. So right now, tomorrow, I've got to do a video. And the uh, document, I've got to get everything ready for the opinion poll. So hopefully by this weekend, I'll be sending out to everyone an opinion poll that says, what do you think of this project? Would you invest in it? How much would you see yourself investing? So they can get an idea is that can we really raise money in the time frame and the amount that we want? And like anything, if it doesn't reach a certain amount, this doesn't reach the minimum, all the money goes back to the investors, right? But I think it's one of the most interesting and coolest things 
you know, you could do you if you let's say that you have a band and you want to go on tour, or let's say that like two of my boys have a band. One of them's a, a digital music producer. Uh, so they're all three in that kind of world. Let's say that they want to create, like they're working on a new LP. Let's say the LP takes them $8,000 to do themselves. Um, and they say, okay, and you guys have been following them and you like their music, but they just, they want to be able to raise this and do something more than just have it be a crowd fund uh, or a Patreon or, or a donation. Now you actually get to invest in it. And um, that's what's, that's what's coming. That's what we're going to do. And so the main focus of it is to raise money. Like I'm guessing we're going to have to raise somewhere around, as I've looked at the numbers roughly, I have to, I'll get into more tomorrow, somewhere around $40,000 to do the entire 90 days and then all the production and all the post-production and all that. Um, but where was I going to go with that? Oh, but this documentary is, I just feel like it's a way, I've been thinking about this for a long time, so it was kind of interesting that they reached out to me last week. I've wanted to go back on tour, film more content, and then do a Game Strong, Live Stronger doc, you know, or a documentary that does talks with mental health care professionals, talks with gamers and their stories. We go to anyone I can schedule to get in and visit with. So when I know the schedule, when, when we get to the point where we've raised the money, I want to start June 1st. That's the objective, June 1st, and go till August 31st. Then we'll set up by then, I'll have all the states set up, and I'll start putting out there, hey, I'm going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina um, on this day, and I should be there at this time. Let's do an in-person. Anyone that wants to get on and tell their story in a video, anyone that wants to meet, I'll do some street taco reviews the whole way as well. See if we can find a street taco place in every state. But you'll, be able, you'll know ahead of time to be able to schedule and be there uh, and do different things. Uh, this is awesome. I know I'll definitely be investing. Love what you do for this community. I appreciate that, Torment. And I would love to, if you have, you know, if, if uh, you're studying psychology, it, it's the world needs to understand what it is gaming does for us and its therapeutic value. Um, you know, let's get all the myths out of the way and all of the, you know, do people overdo gaming? Of course they do. Do people ruin it? Of course they do. I mean, you know. Um, Aaron, 130 roses. Thank you, my friend. Very generous of you. Very generous. Um, so, the, like, take, for example, like, right there. So, Aaron Mui just sent 130 roses. If you're invested in this project and in me as a creator to get this done, that 130 roses that TikTok pays me on, 10% of that, or whatever the number is, but you know, in our example, 10% of that goes into the pool of investor returns. So, and then once a year, the platform, if you want to go check it out, it's called um, oversubscribe.co. That's where you can find it, oversubscribe.co. And I'll have all the links and all the information and all that. But what's, what's powerful about it is... Um, that you don't really have to do anything. So whatever your returns are year over year, they'll send you a K-1, they'll send you all of that. They even, I said, so what's the accountability for me? They even make sure that on my personal tax, so they ask for my personal tax return at the end of the year so that I can show them um, that in fact, all the revenues that I got from brand deals, ad revenue, donations, gifts, all of that is actually represented for you guys to make sure that you get, um, you get um, compensated um, correctly. So, I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like this shoddy. Is that weird? I've tried it a couple times, and every time I do, I feel like I say to myself, eh. Um... Wait, how do I, how do I save a custom, oh, yeah, this, um, this is the, Haymaker, boom. I feel like the, the Haymaker, this, this mod is just kind of st super fun and, uh, the river, how are we supposed to go? 
gave me full heartedly saved my life actually led me to the woman I'll be proposing to this year. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. See, those kinds of stories I want to get recorded. Like I wanna I wanna just sit and interview someone and get three minutes of their story or five minutes of their story. So that's what the documentary is gonna gonna be in part. Wow, still 18% packet loss on the server. That's crazy. Kill confirmed. Kill them and secure their tank. Kill confirmed. We're oh, we're coming for you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a furious... Like, it's almost like you should just run through, like, full-on firing. You got 50 rounds, full Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> it's, so, it's so stupid. It's so broken. It's so broken. <laughs> What's up, Dirk Diggler? Yeah, so the most exciting part of this whole thing... The meat was in the way. Is the fat... Oh, my cruddle. So many bullets. People, people get so mad at this gun too. It's like, yeah, you, should, you have no skill. Oh, hello, you little hamster. Little far away. Little far away. I have an LMG, when I have a shotgun, you can have both. <laughs> Come down the street talking to claim your phone. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Que pasa, street. Days are getting better. I've been uh, going to the gym, clearing my mind. That's awesome, Scuba Steve. I'm so glad to hear that. You're such a, you're such a good dude. I'll tell you, I'll tell you too, the hit markers on this are weird. There are a lot of guys in there. There are a lot of peeps in there. <laughs> Ouch! What are you doing sitting there, you little monkeys? Like, you can't be as snappy.
Let's stay out of the game. Like, this is just pure dumb fun. Um, see, something weird when you move, it, it stops, it stops firing. weird main event crom with the raid what's up my friend thank you appreciate that welcome i mean i i gotta be honest i kind of like i kind of like the 680 better i mean this is kind of just goofy fun uh Going to the gym really seemed to help. Kind of forget about all the negativity in my Yeah, it, it's one of the absolute best things you can do. I mean, I've been a competitive athlete most of my life. And I, I can tell you for sure that it makes a huge difference. You got him. You got him. You got him. Go, teammate. Go, teammate. Go. Go, teammate. Go, teammate. Go. Oh man, I was gonna turn around and mash him. Mash him up. So anyway, yeah, so this documentary and the ability for you guys as community to invest in it and actually get a re is uh, that that just has me it's just so exciting. That's like so I was super glad these guys reached out to me. What? Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, he came the other direction. See, I think I like the 680 better. Just because it's a one... And see, this doesn't want to, like, release and fire sometimes when you're moving. Weird. Like it's kind of goofy and fun to use. I also don't feel like it really does anything for my aim. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? A shot right between them. Really appreciate all the hard work you're putting in for mental awareness, uh, mental health awareness. I'm sure you've made. I appreciate that, ma'am. I appreciate that. Uh, Scuba, did you hear me talking about? Did you hear me talking about what we're going to be doing with this uh, documentary? What the? I think I am just missing a lot of shots too. Just in being lazy. So, remind me, remind me after this game. I'll explain it again. Get him, get him. Where, oh, where did our little friends go? Why is everyone missing that guy? Like, they're all just running around him. Holy smoking Joe. I can't even tell who's who. <laughs> right when I switched. Enemy 
See, now, I really, I really do think I like the 680 better. I think I like it better. Yeah, Japester, there'll be lots of ways, um, there'll be lots of ways uh, to be involved for the people that don't have the budget to invest, because not everyone has the budget to invest. But I just want for the people that do have the opportunity. There'll be, there'll be lots of ways and things you'll be able to do. So, uh, what's my KD? I have no idea. I don't even pay attention. Um, <gasps> Hold on, I'm going to go back to the 680. Hold on, then I'll explain what we're doing, Scuba Steve. Um, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to change this back to the 680. Because it's better. Um, yes, and we'll keep this. Everything else is good. Okay, so um, I was approached by the founders of this company. They've seen my content, seen our community. And they have a new platform they've been working on. It's been, it launched several years ago. They've been working with, with like amateur golfers who want to go pro. The, the basic premise is this. As a content creator, people, you know, if you want to support your favorite content creator, you can, um, you know, Patreon, subscriptions, um, you know, you can, they can crowdfund if they want to do something big. But in all of those, you don't really get anything back other than, the, you know, the satisfaction that you're supporting something and someone that you believe in. Um, the fact that whatever it is that they're doing, you want them to continue. Entertainment value, a book, an album or something. So, but how do you actually invest in a growing content creator like myself? Like, let's just take me as an example. So this company has gone through all the SEC regulations, all of abiding by all the laws. So, for example, this summer I want to do a... Um, Oh, this is this is probably that's probably my last game. I gotta hop off. We have we have guests coming over tonight, um, so I'll I'll explain this and then uh, I'll be on again tomorrow. Um, so, what what I'm gonna do is I, I did the Great Esports Street Tour during COVID, but I, I was kind of limited, obviously because of travel restrictions. So I'm gonna do another 90 day tour starting June 1st, ending August 31st. I'm gonna go to every state on this road trip, I'm going to be driving, I'm going to go to every state in the country, in the continental US, so 48. And I want to film people's stories. I want to, it's going to be the great, it's going to be um, Game Strong, Live Stronger, it's going to be the name of the, ser the, the documentary. And I want to interview, I want to bring to the world from, the, from the, the perspective of mental health care professionals, therapists, counselors, to gamers who have had experiences where gaming has made the difference in their life in learning to get through the challenges of their mental health and emotional well-being. So it's it's a matter of taking the the prospects of or, or the tenants of the foundation, the 1992 foundation, and putting them into a documentary. And so I'll travel around the country and I'll set up to where, you know, people that are in our community that want to be interviewed, want to meet me, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have something set up. I'm not sure exactly how we'll do it, but if you know, hey, I'm going to be in uh, Las Vegas or I'm going to be in, you know, um, New Orleans, you know, on this day, if someone says, well, hey, could you go to Baton Rouge instead of New Orleans, and a bunch of us will be there, uh, I want to be, you know, you can interview me, we can, you know, review some street tacos, whatever. So during that whole time, I'll be doing live, live streams, I'll be doing recorded content, we'll be doing all kinds of updates, all kinds, have all kinds of community involvement, but in, with the ultimate objective of getting all of this, this, these interviews, and then coming back and then producing the document or the, well, yeah, the, 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 the documentary, um, however it's going to be done in series or whatever post-production. So what happens is, is that we need to raise a good amount of money. Probably, I'm, I'm thinking somewhere in the ballpark of $40,000. But, but instead of doing a crowdfund, like I said, where you kind of don't get anything, we do this, this investor opportunity. So the way that it works, the thing that's really cool about it, the thing I really like about it, which was, is very unique, is that it's all managed by this, by this platform, right? So they create an LLC with a bank account that receives all the monies, and then they're distributed to the investors once a year. And then on my side, um, I can take my money out you know, as it comes in. 
So what happens is that we set, we end up setting some kind of, um, okay, what are we going to offer? So just as an example, let's say that it's 10% for three years. What is that 10% return on? It's not just the documentary. It is everything that comes into the Street Taco Eater brand or, you know, an artist or a creator or athlete or someone you follow that does the same platform. So what happens is when I get someone, someone gifts, someone drops a galaxy or someone subscribes to my channels or um, someone, you know, we have a brand deal or ad revenues from my live streams to my recorded content to everything else we do. All of those revenues go into this program, and then the amount of the, then you know let's in our, this example ten percent ten percent comes out and goes into a bank account and is held for you and is is dispersed once a year. But what's powerful is that it's not just you saying, "Hey, I want to invest in this documentary." The entire Street Taco Eater brand is put into this. So again, the more that I do, you guys know I do a lot of content. Now, if we're going to do this, it's going to ramp it up to a whole other level. So, you know, as it ramps from ad revenues, subscriptions, gifts, donation, all that stuff, that all goes into the pool. So I don't know. So right, what's happening right now, I have, I've had three calls with the founders of the company. I have another Zoom call with them on Friday. So the first step is to do an opinion poll. So I'm going to, you know, do the introduction video. I got to get everything ready tomorrow. And then I have another call with them and we'll have this poll. What will happen with this poll is I'll get it out to all of you guys. And it'll basically say, you know, hey, do you like this idea? Would you be interested in investing? If so, which of these kind of general areas would you see? Like we have someone like, like I'm the real Lou said, hey, I'll, I'll, I'm in for 3000 um, A ton of other people, hey, I'm in for 50 I think $50 is the minimum amount. I'll know more by the weekend. So once we decide, once we get the poll out there and people, um, we see what the interest is, right? That's why we're doing the poll. Then we can say, okay, what's, can we raise the 40000 we want in this time period? But what's the minimum that we can raise? And if you don't hit the minimum, if we don't hit the minimum, which I think we'll blow past it, then um, all the money's returned, right? And so it just... Um, but I, we have to make sure that the minimum will help us accomplish what we want to do and then what we really, you know, maybe if we only hit the minimum, we only go out for a month or something. But that's what's going on, Scuba Steve. So, and now for the people like Japes was talking about, for the people that can't, really don't have the ability to invest in the project, um, we'll, we'll have some other things that, that people will be able to do. So... All right, Speed Demon HD. Hey, Chad, if you guys want to give some love, Speed Demon HD is new to streaming. He's just getting started. He's over on Twitch, Speed Demon HD 97. Go give him some love if you haven't followed him already. Um, yeah, so, and the thing is that whatever cities that you guys say to come to, if I say I'm, I'm going to be in Tennessee um, and seven people say, please come to Nashville, then that's where we're going to go. We're going to go to Nashville. Um, and so I, I, it's, it's just really exciting for me to be able to have a way to let people have more than just donating or have more than just, you know, subscribing, but actually to have the opportunity to invest and get a return. And you never know what it's going to be, but you guys know over the course, let's say that, you know, let's say I, I set it for 10% for three years or 12% for three years or something. You know, what kinds of revenues doing this, not only with the documentary, but the travel and all the other things, what kinds of um, things can be, you know, can, what kind of revenue can be generated? You know, I mean, if you, well... I can't really talk numbers or all of that. I have to be careful, but yeah. Um, Orange County, California, well, that's where I'm from. So um, I still have family down there. So chances are that's, that's probably where we'll go. Um, any good loadout for MW3 right now? I don't think there's anything that really stands out. So does that make sense, Scuba Steve? That's, that's what we have going on. So tomorrow I'm going to get all the information they need for the... Um, uh, am I a for-profit company now? Well, Street Taco Eater's always been a for-profit. The 1992 Foundation is a non-profit. This, this has nothing to do with the 1992 Foundation financially. 
In fact, in my phone call with the founder, one of the founders this morning or this afternoon, I asked him that specifically. I said, if people want to donate to the foundation, that doesn't have any, we, that's separate, right? Because that's a 501c3, there's tax deductions and all that. That's, and the answer is yes, that's still going to remain separate. So what will, my intention has always been, so that you kind of understand, my intention has always been to have the Street Taco Eater brand generate the revenues that cover all of the overhead for the foundation. That way, every dollar that comes into the foundation doesn't have to go to legal costs or staff or expenses. That's all covered by Street Taco Eater and the brand. Um, that's what I'm still working towards, and that's a lot of why I want to really blow the Street Taco Eater brand up, do this documentary and all of that now uh, very quickly because we have a lot of things. We have people now that are want, reaching out to me that want to do big fundraisers for the foundation. So you wouldn't, so the foundation is not included in, in this, but every, almost every nonprofit, successful nonprofit has a for-profit arm or has, is, is, you know, because another thing we'll do in the nonprofit when we have the ability, the funding is that we'll put committees together uh, for going out and actually researching and applying for grants for the foundation. I just don't have the bandwidth to do that right now. So, um, that's what's going on. You're in Costa Mesa. Yeah, my sister's my sister lives in Mission Viejo. My daughter's in um, my daughter. Sorry, my brother lives in uh, Temecula. <clears throat> what's up, Deadly Snake? I've been great. I've been great. Super busy. Super busy. Am I streaming tomorrow? Um, yes, my intention is to stream tomorrow. Here's my schedule. Um, Get the video done for the opinion poll. Get everything set up for the opinion poll. So I'm guessing that I'll be done with that by 2 or 3 o'clock. And I anticipate getting back on stream for the rest of the night. My wife leaves town tomorrow again um, to her uncle's funeral in Louisiana. So she'll be back Sunday. But yes, I will be streaming. So one of the big things that will be really critical to this is your guys spreading the word. That's another thing to me that's really fun about this. Your ability to invest in the Street Taco Eater brand with this documentary and all of these things means that when you, when I say, hey, make sure that you share what we're doing, tell everyone you know, um, there's more, like you get, a, you get other benefit other than just supporting which is incredibly powerful. I'm very grateful for those of you that do so much and volunteer and all <coughs> our volunteer staff. <coughs> Sorry, I did yard work today <coughs> and my allergies are just crazy. Um, anyway, it's just, I think it's, it's really exciting. I, when these guys reached out to me, I, number one, I wanted to make sure they were legit. Number two, make sure they have all the licensing and, and are following the laws and regulations of investment through the SEC. Um, and they are... Uh, the founders, you know, uh, one of them graduated from MIT. He's worked in uh, Silicon Valley. The other one's worked on Wall Street and investment firms. They, they know their stuff. Um, and the platform concept, I just have fallen in love with. Um, if you want to check out the platform and learn more about that, you can go to oversubscribe.co, oversubscribe.co, and you can learn more about it. But I'll have a lot more out. This, the opinion poll will be the first thing. <clears throat> I know, Japester, and so many people are. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. And the great thing, too, about, about my understanding is being able to invest in this documentary and the work and, and the Street Talk Leader brand is that you can do it from any, any country, in the, almost any country in the world in any currency. So um, anyway, it's going to be really cool. All right, chat. I need to hop off and help my wife. Uh, we got this family coming over, and uh, so I'm going to shut everything down and... Um, spend a little time with them because they're all going, they'll be leaving tomorrow for Louisiana uh, and I'll be back on. Thank you for everything tonight. Thank you for the subs, the gifts, the follows, the likes, the shares, everything. You guys are amazing. We're literally, 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 literally. <laughs> we are literally, literally just getting started. Um, and there's some really, I, you know, I tell you guys that there are exciting things coming. Uh, this is just one of them, uh, the stuff that we're going to do this year. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Please, please, please know, and I know there are those of you, even though our numbers are, are low because I'm getting off, please know that if you're struggling, that you matter, you belong, we love you, I love you. If you're here, I give you a big hug, um, and that that brighter days are ahead, and even when you don't see it. Scuba Steve, I'm so proud of you, my friend, 
in the effort you're putting in. I'm so excited, so happy that you're doing that. And I'm grateful that this community can be so helpful and be a part of that. So much love to you guys. Game strong.